Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Tune Kind at 12 FPS. Uh, today we are playing um, uh, the FPS uh, Fellowship of the Wrens Special Edition Boxed Set. Uh, I uh, I am Oatmeal, and I will be playing the professor in this um, uh, sort of sequel to the first uh FPS of this kind, Fellowship of the Parents, as it was called. Um, uh, the three uh, players joining me, would you please, in order, introduce yourself and your character? Hello, I am Eros. Uh, I will be playing Nebula, who I have not played in a hot minute. It's been like a month or two. Uh, <laughs> and, the, and the previous one was the last FPS he's been in, so he might not have much to update the other parents on. But... He is here. Hi, folks. I'm Arthur. I play a chicken. They're stress. They're the stress chicken. They're also the TikTok chicken. Hi. Mm -hmm. And finally, hello. I am Winona, and today I'll be playing my scrawny little wizard, Scribble Scrambles, who had a time. His son is not here right now, technically. Otherwise, I would also be saying scratch. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that eventually. Mm. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I'm sure it seems not, fine. I have not kept <laughs> up to date with anyone's stuff except for the flower game. So, because I was in that game. Mm. But, yeah. All right. Yep. We will all be updating each other. Uh, <laughs> both in and out of character. Um, <laughs> so, uh, this takes place... Um, uh, probably spoilers for everything that anyone's been, uh, uh, everything our characters have been involved in, uh, lately, especially, uh, for Scribbles, at, well, and Professor by extension, the, uh, Back to the Beginning, uh, games, and, uh, most recently, um, the, uh, Into Silence, uh, campaign, Silence of Isolation. This is, uh, uh, this is this FPS is taking place uh, after the events of uh, Into Silence, Silence of Isolation. Um, the actual final episode is going to happen tomorrow, so we are just going to hope that nothing happens to uh, mess with the continuity there. Uh, so, so that just happened, and uh, after Silence of Isolation, um, the professor sends uh, paper airplane letters to TOC, Scribbles, and Nebula. Um, should be noted that he rarely answers mail and never sends it unprompted. Uh, the letter he sent was, uh, dear name, I am sending similar notes to the other two in our group. Many crucial details have come to light recently. There is an urgent matter I must inform you of. We should meet again, if at all possible. If not, I will relay what I can over an unsecure channel such as this. Yours, the professor. And with that, um... Uh, these four wrens have agreed to meet again, uh, this time at the professor's place, the Ellipsis. Uh, and he will be picking up his, uh, his fellows forthwith. Um, and so, my hat falls off my face. Um, and so, um, the Ellipsis, uh, appears with a rather loud, uh, a rather loud rhythmic noise, um, first at, uh, Nebula's dwelling. <laughs> so there is a phone box in your room, <laughs> Nebula. Yeah, yeah, Nebula had, okay, so we established that after the first Fellowship of the Parents, uh, Nebula was shown a little bit of the ellipsis, mainly Correct. the council room. So he recognizes what this is. Mm -hmm. He has not seen it move before. This is new <laughs> to him. Uh-huh. Uh, but, uh, man. He is, in general, concerned given the, uh, the, the letter. Uh, yeah, th that letter. Mm -hmm. Again, you are mentioning how Professor... This is not usual for the professor. Yeah, it's not. Um, so there, there's, there's some amount of concern there, but also like he's staring at the phone box now. <laughs> yep. The he was not, he was not expecting it to appear like that. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Well, um, it sort of stops appearing and disappearing and uh, becomes fully solid with a thud. And uh, the, um, the door swings open and uh, the professor leans out. Hello, Nebula. Professor, professor sees a very uh, um, startled, but also kind of there. There, there, there's a bit of a grin there too because wow, that was cool. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he he does uh, reply. Oh, hello. Um, is everything all right? Uh, he was gritting, but it slips a little bit, and, um, uh, he, uh, he sort of, um, it, it slips a little bit, but he, he, uh, shakes his head, um, a bit, and, um, uh, grins again wider and says, it's, it's, it's time for us to meet. I'll explain. Uh, he he nods and he uh, steps inside. And there's like, there as he does as he steps past the professor. There's like a uh, a quiet uh, that was very cool <laughs> about uh, about the uh, appearing the ellipsis. <laughs> um, so the professor will get to get to hear that uh, as he goes through. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he chuckles a little bit and, um, uh, uh, he closes the door and goes back to the console and, um, uh, he, he, uh, he pats it and, uh, starts entering, uh, coordinates and, um, uh, <laughs> um, Uh, starts entering uh, coordinates and um, uh, you everything was quiet for a moment but it starts up again as uh, he moves over to who is next uh, to um, takes off uh, to visit uh, TOC um, author where where do I put the ellipsis? <laughs> um, that's up to you. You could put it anywhere indoors, which would be um, slightly upsetting because uh, Juniper has basically Fort Knoxed her apartment for very good reasons. Mm -hmm. Or you could smoosh something uh, on the roof in TFC's garden. <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm going to rule a D2. <laughs> All right. One, it goes in the house. Oh, balls. Yep. <laughs> goes in the house. <laughs> well, um, I'm sorry, but... Um... <laughs> this is delightful to me. Please don't apologize. So what... <laughs> Um, where at whatever, whatever room the TOC is in, uh, <laughs> the ellipsis appears and disappears and reappears and so on until it fully lands with a thud. Mm. Uh, I have, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, does, does the ellipsis shake as it moves? Um, uh, that depends. Uh, honey, let me see how you're doing today. It does not shake. It does not shake. Okay. All right. All right. I just rolled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nebula does not have to worry about that, at least. No. <laughs> uh, he is going to, like, also pop his head out with the professor because, like, this, this, <laughs> this, he, he wants to experience <laughs> this thing moving. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. He is very excited about all of this. <laughs> yeah, uh, Professor opens the door. Uh, what room are they in, do you think? Um, 
Because it's. I'm going to say the. Um, uh, I'm going to say like the common area of the living room, um, and <laughs> POC is right there. It's they have been given given enough advance warning. What with the appearing and disappearing, <laughs> um, <laughs> that they have recovered their shock, sighed deeply through their beak, mm-hmm. and just sort of positioned themselves to be um, sort of immediately without the uh, the doorway. Um, mm-hmm. They look ex- extremely unhappy. Uh-huh. Uh, probably for several reasons, because uh, if the professor really uh, answers mail and never gives it, that, that means that the, <laughs> all their letters to him have gone unanswered. Um, uh, <laughs> that That is his want. <laughs> mm. um, so yeah, it's nothing, nothing, nothing. Hey, we're here now. Yeah. <laughs> um... I did say rarely. He does occasionally answer mail, but um, postcard. yeah, <laughs> probably. But um, yeah, he opens the door and uh, he is um, grinning as he usually does, and um, Nebula's beside him. Um, mm. Nebula waves. Nebula is also uh, grinning <laughs> because <laughs> he's very excited about all this. Mm. Actually. Let me roll. Um. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah. Um. That was a deception check to not look amused at uh, the, the sight of them having fun. <laughs> um. So it's like they still look pissed. Um, because they are pissed. However, they're also, they're, they are failing to repress, uh, sort of a, a fond smile. And they go, Professor, do you, have I told you that my roommate is in hiding? Um, I don't think so. So I probably didn't tell you, um, that this apartment is supposed to be, uh, reinforced beyond all possible home invasion. Uh, including... And that if she was here, you'd probably have to deal with a very pissed artificer. Well, it's rather powerful the course, I'm afraid. Just move so I can get in and we can leave. Alright. <laughs> yeah, he'll go back to the console. <laughs> Hey, hey, author, does yes. Nebula know any of this? Uh, probably bits and pieces, yes. Um, okay. Definitely that he's not supposed to spread Juniper's face and likeness, you know, around. Okay. So he, he knows a bit, then. He's not, like, I'm just, he, he's not, like, uh... Completely taken aback. ...staring at POC about this. He's fine. Mm. Yeah, he's it may... Like, oops. Oops, but not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one the chicken's pissed at. <laughs> it, it, TOC will go grab their pitchfork because they're not constantly armed. Um, and <laughs> sort of very... Uh, eh, gingerly step into the box. Mm-hmm. This is fine. <laughs> Um, uh, and as the professor sets coordinates for, uh, uh, familiar coordinates, actually, for Scribbles' bedroom, um, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, uh, you two are welcome to, um, give me a surface thought as the, um, ellipsis casts, uh, detect thoughts on you both. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because hmm. you're you're new. Uh, I mean, well, you've been here once before, but uh, TOC at least. I mean, I, I guess I can go first. Um, I, TOC is preoccupied. Um, 
but probably sort of the, the shallowest thought is just sort of like they will deal for this for the professor the professor looks happy he didn't sound happy in the letter but he's happy now this is a good thing <laughs> don't be don't snap at anyone just don't <laughs> definitely not going to snap at anyone <laughs> very good uh nebula Oh gosh. Um give me a moment to think. Uh it doesn't have to be anything profound. Just just a little okay. just a little uh something she can snatch off the surface. I I do find it funny if if, if it was the whole well at least I'm not the one that they're mad at. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Uh and with a rhythmic uh, mechanical groaning noise. Um uh, scribbles. There is a now familiar um, red phone box uh, in your room now. And you said specifically the bedroom, right? I did, because that's where it was last time. Yeah, you don't see scribbles in the bedroom. Alright. Uh, professor opens the door, steps out. Um, yeah, you, you then see scribbles in the kitchen. He looks to be making tea. And he, like, hears you come through the door. It's like, oh, Professor, uh, I was just making my medicine uh, so I could have it while we're meeting. Oh. Uh, all right. Um. Do you, say, do you want to make an insight, Professor? Does he what? Does he, do you want to make an insight? Oh, insight, yeah. Should be over to you? Ooh. Yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, character sheet. My insight is better than it was last time. Oh, that's an unnatural 20. Ooh, nice, nice. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll have Nebula do an insight, too, because he probably would have stepped out. Uh... Professor did. Hmm. Seventeen. With the professor, because well, what you know, what went down, and what happened, you could tell that Scribbles has recovered really well. It seems like to say whatever medicine he's taking right now has really affect has really affected him in a good way, and hmm. he feels almost back up to snuff, but you could definitely tell there's a tiredness to him still that is still lingering on. Mm -hmm. uh, and you could say, while TFC and Nebula just see, say Scribbles does look tired. You don't know why he looks exactly tired. You both know that something did happen in an emergent and like an emergency happened where he was very much hurt. But... You, but you could definitely. But for right now, you just see that he's tired. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Scribbles just fills up. And say when the he's done making the medicine, he and say he fills up a thermos of a thermos of it and like walks up and walks over. It's like I'm assuming you parked in my bedroom as you just came out of my bedroom. Yes. You know, next time you could just park in the living room, okay? You don't want to wake up. You don't want to wake up, Sally. Noted. I'll see what I can do, but um, precise maneuvering is not um, our specialty. I mean, you look. Look at that. You're you fit neatly in the corner of the bedroom. Yes, but look I've been. This... Yes, but I've been there before. <sighs> <laughs> Just sighs and <laughs> smiles. I mean, yes, but still, that's a small space. They say you could easily have just been the. You know what? It it doesn't really matter. But uh, uh, let's just get going. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, back in. Uh, everybody say, gets back yep. in. Yeah, mm -hmm. and scri and scribble smiles at TOC and Nebula. So good to see you two again. TUC signs a sign language hello. They also look tired. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, doing all right? 
I, I'm doing much better. That's good. All right. Uh, the professor goes to the controls and uh, starts her up again. And um, uh, uh, puts you uh, into flight. And uh, he says, um, I'm just going to have her drift through the um, ethereal plane for a bit. Um, just... Yes, all right. Um, all right, we're clear now um, of the material plane. Uh, I didn't... It's just a precaution. She's she's really quite secure, but but when I... One of our one of our party members had um, a sensor on them. Somebody was scrying. Somebody was watching them, and I don't. He 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 runs a hand over his face and through his hair, um, and uh, looks considerably less cheerful now. And um, uh, he says, yeah. um, "I admit I'm." Uh, feeling unusually paranoid right now. Gribbles nods at this as he goes over to the Professor. I, I fully understand. Scrying magic is powerful and very intrusive when it wants to be. Certainly. Who was scrying on whom? I don't know was scrying on um, Sammy, uh, the one you met, Scribbles. Oh, jeez, that kid is involved. Oh. Is Rada okay? Uh, Rada's fine. Uh, he's, he's all right. All right, now listen, we can't all just stand around the console room. Um, do you want to go to, uh, the library or the garden? Very sounds nice, but I say, Scribbles looks at TOC. I know, I say, if you want to do the garden, we can. Nebula is not, he's not saying anything, but internally he's like, there's a garden and a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Skrulls already knows what Nebula's answer would be. <laughs> TUC looks sort of universally unenthused. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, I'm still going with that three, like, they're, um, slightly uncomfy with sort of everything right now. Um, mm. <sighs> no preferences? Any preferences? I have a vote for library. Anyone else? We can we can see the garden. Garden? Uh nebula? Any preference? Uh, I'll 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 go garden. Alright. There there is curiosity in his eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, he presses a button on the console, um, and the interior doors open, um, on the far side from the exterior doors, and he just leads you all down the hall, uh, a short way, um. Yeah, but before they leave the rooms, two girls make sure, like, to touch the console and smiles, like, I'm glad, I hope you're doing well, Ellie. Just a little pat-pat before leaving. Aw. <laughs> There's, if there's any open doorways that they cross while they're going down the hallway, Nebula's absolutely peeking through. Just trying to see what he can. Oh! Because uh, he, he, he has not seen deeper into the ellipsis before. Delightful. Uh, roll investigation. Alright. Ten. Hmm, ten. All right. Um, you see what looks like uh, an alchemy lab absorb of sorts, um, and uh, what might be a laundry room, um, and some other uh, some other rooms that um, are either boring or you're not sure what they are. But um, yeah, the professor leads you quickly. Um, uh, down a ways, but actually not really very far. Um, and there's a sort of, uh, there's a stone door, um, and he, uh, pushes it open, 
uh, and it, it swings with uh, without a sound and without much effort um, open into this massive uh, space. Uh, it's um, almost cathedral-like in size uh, with a high, high ceiling um, and uh, it's very, very wide. Um, it's uh, it's and it's it's a garden. It's it's a garden that's uh, it's got like a, a paved walkway, and uh, there's just sort of um, a nicely maintained like uh, area inside. Like it's it's um, it, uh, it's like a like if you had like a courtyard or something, it's got yeah. trees, it's got bushes, it's got flowers, it's got um, just like uh, leafy plants, it's got familiar plants, it's got um, plants you've never seen before. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. And the, the professor... Um, uh, leads the three of you, uh, a ways in, um, until, uh, you can't see the walls or the door anymore, uh, and there's a, a seating area with, like, um, outdoor, uh, uh, chairs, and, um, and they're, like, comfortable, they've got, like, cushions and stuff, but, you know, it's that, like, waterproof type material. Mm-hmm. That you get yeah. from, like, the patio. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. Mila is looking. Uh, <laughs> he is holding off on questions, though, because this is a serious matter. But yeah. he is very interested. Yeah, Scribble, like, does make a comment under his breath. like, if this is what the garden looks like, I gotta see that library sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Neb Nebula nods to that because, like, what, what on, like, what kind of books would be in there? Because <laughs> there's, there's gotta be interesting yeah. stuff in there. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but yeah, the professor uh, leads you all over here and um, uh, gestures at the seats and. Um, uh, uh, there is a table in the middle that has um, uh, has a uh, um, a bowl on it with um, sort of glowing um, uh, glowing purple uh, berries. It looks like um, and uh, a plate with um, cookies on it and. Mm -hmm. um, a uh, tea set complete with a uh, steaming kettle. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scribble is immediately going to take the nearest seat just because it's just like, he needs to sit down. Yeah. <sighs> Can I do a uh, nature check on the berries? Absolutely. TOC will take a seat. Really? Oh. Uh, a seven. Um, hmm. With a seven, uh, you know you've never seen them before. Uh, you know you've never seen them in any, uh, in any book on plants, um, ever. Uh, and, um, you think they might be alien, um, but they do <laughs> appeal to, appear to be, uh, mundane rather than magical. He is Des very intrigued. Despite the glow. <laughs> He he is uh, going to uh, he he assumes that they're edible if they're like next to like cookies and such. Uh huh. But, yeah. Uh, he he is going to uh, double check with the professor on that. Ask ask if like like these these are, these are edible, right? <laughs> oh yes, of course. Those are Jeffa berries. They're um they're actually quite good. He <laughs> is immediately popping one in his mouth. He wants to try this thing. <laughs> it <laughs> it tastes like um have you ever had like a buttermilk pancake or buttermilk waffles? Mm. 
yeah, weird flavor for a berry, but that's what yeah, it that's interesting. That's what it mm-hmm. tastes like. <laughs> he is looking at these berries in appreciation. <laughs> uh, nice. PUC has been sort of dogging the professor's footsteps, which is interesting because normally they would be all over this place. Mm-hmm. But they they, mm-hmm. they take a seat next to um next to Scribbles and then hop up on the table because I assume it's not like a high chair. Um, and they sign, you made it sound urgent and you've, you've mentioned a couple of yours, but not all of them. Correct. Um, hmm. yeah, he, he takes a seat, um, and he gestures at the spread, like help yourself, but, um, he, uh, he takes a deep breath and he says, um, things are very, messed up. Um, we, um, my friends and I, uh, we went on, um, we went on a bit of an adventure, but, um, uh, in the process, well, I should say who, um, uh, originally it was, um, uh, myself, uh, Sammy, or Satomi, um, Arata, Arata Satomi, um, uh, Seeker, and, um, was it just the four of us? Um, oh, hang on. Was it just the four of them? Now I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> losing my mind. Um, okay, it was originally just the four of them. Yeah, um, and then he says, um, oh yeah, uh, and, uh, and uh, Genevieve, and then later we were joined by um, uh, a tune named Sasha and uh, uh, and our, our friends Amber and, and Box. And uh, in the course of this adventure, um, we we all lost and regained various memories of. Um, uh, of differing levels of importance, um, including the identity of several people in our lives. Um, and, um, like I said, we, we did regain most of these memories, um, but there is a really, uh, there is there is a problem um seeker uh was the most well hmm, second most severely affected um after uh the new friend sasha having lost and not regained uh yet we're working on it a, a certain period of time um in which he left Faruma and arrived in Iquel, and I do believe it involves a boat of some sort. Um, a, a ship? Uh, the, the, um, result being that he is no longer the person we know. Um, he no longer goes by Seeker, uh, and instead, at least for now, answers to Sunshine. Um, he has a dramatic, dramatically different bearing, and doesn't seem to recognize his own, um, his own self as we know him, and even his own body seems strange to him. I've, he took off one of his gloves and, and, and looked as though he'd never seen the scars underneath, ever, and... I believe that, at least in his mind, he hadn't. 
such mm. was the uh, extent of the memory loss. There is so much concern on Nebula's face right now. Oh boy. Just, that is a lot of ma that's a lot of erasure magic is just like oh that is a lot of memories lost. Yeah. Can someone roll an insight on POC. Oh yeah. Oh yes, of yeah. course. I got a nat twenty. Oh boy. Fourteen from um, Nebula. Uh that's eleven on the die. That'd be a twelve for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um it's uh I Okay. Um Professor um it TOC's head snapped back as soon as you said memory loss. That that might be um Oof. particularly um worrisome for them. Mm -hmm. There's a lot yeah. that they they feel is very important for them to remember. Um, yeah, Nebula yes. also seems. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Uh, You're good. But he he also seems uh, very worried at a uh, memory loss given mm. his own. Uh, mm. Yes. Okay. Go go on. <laughs> they um. They they definitely do glance at Nebula, but they also um as soon as you say. Me Seeker's name, you just see them sort of like, well, because this is... Yeah, yeah, this figures. This is completely in character. Mm -hmm. Um, and now they're just sort of like, they're staring at your table, um, and they, they seem to have checked out a little bit. Mm -hmm. They are, um, they, they are struggling to process. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Cripple reaches over a hand and just like, very slowly, just tr just puts it on TOC's back, just c in a comforting motion. Mm. They, I don't think they notice right now. I'm sorry, Winona. Um, no, it's fine. This is this is more. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I say I'm not surprised that he doesn't, but he's still trying to comfort TOC at as much as he can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they decide. Okay. Okay. So, what's the plan? Right. You said a ship. I did. Um, Sammy it isn't like ships. Correct. Um, I. That brings me to the next thing um, that I figured out um, about about Seeker. Um, he. Um, hmm. let's, let's start with, I think, um, I think I'll start with the seeker part, um, rather. Um, so, um, one of the, hmm, how do I put this? Um, Somebody who has been, um, uh, held, uh, jeez, uh, somebody, somebody in our party, um, confirmed something that I've suspected about Seeker for a while now, um, because they recognized it from something in their own experiences. Um, I got confirmation that uh, Seeker has at some point, and I think I can guess at what point, um, at some point been um, held uh, captive against his will. Um, and specifically, I believe he had, um, at the very least, uh, um, chains probably of iron, considering the burns they left and his fey ancestry, um, about his wrists and, I think, also his neck. Um, TUC is flinched very hard. Yeah. There is so much concern on Nebula's face. Yes. Rebels. Oh. You were... 
Sorry, all I heard was scribbles. I would say it was. It's the same with scribbles. He, there's so much concern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nebula's not like he doesn't know what to say. Really, he's just sitting here processing all this. Yeah. And it's it's a lot. It's it's a lot, and it's not great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, he says, "I think this is what happened on the ship." Um. It seemed to be that that is part of the piece that um, Sunshine uh, does not recall happening. So between now and then, uh, he he went from uh, being known as Sunshine to being known as Seeker and now back to... Uh, being known as Sunshine, but in that period of time, he was on a ship and he was held like that for, by the looks of the scars, a long time. Um, he doesn't remember it now, um, but we will be trying to get those memories back. Uh, we have a plan for that, um, fortunately. Uh, since the taking of the memories involved uh, a, the um, deity of well no not the deity it involved the the uh, the domain of um, silence um, the divine domain of silence but um, not uh, not in its, I suppose, rightful form, but in a corrupted form. Um, the point being that uh, it was destroying these corrupted sort of uh, constructs made from pieces of the silence domain that brought back the, uh, the memories that were taken from us. Um, so if we go out and um, take care of the remaining pieces of corrupt domain, we should, we should, uh, we should be able to restore, uh, any other memories that have not yet been restored. Um, let's see, I took care of, uh, let's see, the scars. Oh, um. Professor. Yes. The last time we met as a group, you brought a poster. Yes. There was an address on the poster. Correct. For a docking in Toontown Harbor. Yes, I'm aware. I was suspicious of it. And then I was informed that uh, the person on that uh, notice is... Uh, is a trusted individual. TUC looks unconvinced. He sort of shrugs. This mm. is this is information I got secondhand, so I couldn't I couldn't judge either way, but I trust Sammy's judgment at the very least. Both odds. He seemed he's a he seems like a very good kid. If I have anything to go off from what Arata said. I actually met Arata again at the place where he worked a while mm. back before what happened to us. Mm. I say, good kid, good kids. Mm -hmm. However, speaking of memories, what say? I don't didn't want to push this the last time we met, but oh. now we're talking about. Losing and gaining memories. Could you talk about what happened to you? Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, the professor, um, uh, just sort of, like, uh, folds his hands, uh, over his, uh, nose and mouth and sort of looks away, um, and uh, 
in, in a sort of like prayer hand, pr you know, prayer hand sort of gesture and, um, uh, yeah. And Scribbles is like, I understand that this is hard and I wanted to, hopefully we could have talked about that when you felt comfortable, but now that memory manipulation is on the table. No, actually, I, it's funny you mention it. I was um, thinking about um, sharing it, if only because, well, if I'm if I'm going to keep interacting with these things, there's a chance that I could lose it again, and it would be good to have somebody who knows. Well, well, you can. I'm hoping that maybe you can trust three, three people. Mm hmm. Yeah, he sort of he leans like back in his seat, uh, and uh, just sort of like takes a breath and then like leans forward again. Um. And uh. He says, before I go into that, um, there is one other very important thing about Seeker that, that you should know. TOC? I'm still listening. I have confirmation that Seeker is Kid. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, golly. Oh, boy. You see, um... Mm, that's when... an eight. Ooh! They, they look blink for a second, and then that surf sinks in, and the implication sinks in. And they are still listening, but sort of shaking just a little bit on the table. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Scribble still has a hand on T.O.C.'s back and tries to, like, gently pet T.O.C. Just trying to make sure he's like, hey, we're, say, you're not alone, we're here. Mm -hmm. The professor nods at that, and um, he says, um, when Seeker was uh, hmm, when when Seeker became Sunshine again and lost the memories of the ship, um, they were looser with their looser with his words, and he revealed that he used to be called, um, well, he revealed that he used to be called a great many names, but that one of them was Kid. And there is an outside chance that this is... I mean, he's a satyr. I, to call a young satyr Kid would seem... would seem... obvious, but... I mean... Probably most young satyrs are called kid at some point or other in their lives, frankly. But... But... Uh, he just... It's him. I know it is. It's him. It all... It all works out. And... I haven't asked him about Pete Moss yes, yet, but have you ever mentioned her to him? No, I no. don't. <sighs> At least not by name. Mm -hmm. I will probably ask him at some point. He I'm not sure when, but... I have to ask. 
You have my permission. All right. I'm sitting here trying to remember, like, what I know, but Nebula doesn't, and what Nebula knows, but I forgot. Um, we did discuss yeah, a lot about Peat Moss in the last parent of in the last Fellowship FPS. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. he probably knows at least that part. Yeah. Right. Oh. Hmm. I don't remember much about the name kid referring to. Oh, oh. So that might just be me. Um, I think in the last one we said, uh, um, there was a a satyr child as well as Pete Moss and um, TOC yeah. was thinking maybe it's Seeker because they recognize Seeker's mom as having the okay. same scar as this other satyr uh, yeah, okay. yeah. kid. But the right, cool. Yeah, but the name kid wasn't mes the name kid in particular wasn't really mentioned in the last fellowship if I remember correctly. Maybe not. Alright, okay. But just a satyr child. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for the review. Mm -hmm. No problem. I will note, um, Magic in the audience has, uh, mentioned that Seeker has showed off the notebook, uh, that he found in the written word and the unspoken heard. Mm -hmm. So, you, what? uh, the professor would know the details of that. Details of what? Um... Seeker found the notebook that Pete was using in uh, Relics of a Bygone Era oh. uh, much more complete and full of some worrying details. Uh, but I don't think Professor knows that. That he has it. I I looked at Magic. Magic? Uh, they're, they're, they're in the FPS notes. Uh, where? Here? Yes. Yeah. I don't see it. Wait, notes? Oh, sorry, I was in the wrong channel. Ah, I see. Uh, I cut you. Okay, okay. The notebook? Um, he will have showed it off? Uh, <laughs> okay. It, I, this is maybe not info that you, the player, have yet. Um, it, I do a shrug. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm just adjusting, mm -hmm. just course correcting here. Um, <laughs> uh, I probably should have clarified that point um, earlier, but um, mm -hmm. okay. So, um, okay. So in that case, uh, I think the um, uh, the professor says. Um, uh, okay, the, uh, forget the, the thing asking about, um, Pete Moss. He says, like, uh, um, I know it's kid. Um, I know he's kid because he, he showed me, um, he found, he found, um, Pete Moss's notebook, the, the one that I found in the library and left there, he found it and kept it, and he knows that person, and, and, which, which also confirms that the person I met was your Pete Moss, and I'm, st I still don't know why, why the notes were changed. To, to identify me as a threat. I don't... I still don't know why. But now he thinks I'm a threat, maybe. Because his trusted friend, Sunshine? Pete Moss, said... Because Sunshine... Yes, because he saw it in his friend's notebook. I the seeker cares for you. Your actions speak more than 
words on an ancient piece of paper. I know. Words on a piece of paper that too old. I... <sighs> TOC, it's just... I know. A, it's, it's a simple time anomaly. She it's... was... She was thrown backward in time. And the rest of you... Well, maybe not you. But... Seeker and his mother must have left before... Before, before whatever it was happened, happened. So they're in the correct time. It's it's Pete Moss and maybe you who who are who are out of sync. That's that's why you, that's why. You have this aura. You you don't, temporarily speaking, you don't feel right. Not, not quite. I noticed it when we first met. I didn't say anything because it's rude. But Pete Moss had the same thing. Time czars can sense these sort of things. So both of my children have suffered <sighs> Deeply. He sort of sinks in the chair. I'm... I'm not mad at you. Thank you for telling me for... They... Man... They, they've settled somewhat. They're not on the verge of a panic attack anymore, but it's there's something in their expression that um, is kind of haunted. Kind, like, there's a sort of a distant fury to them. Mm. Mm. And yeah. it's... Someone could roll an insight check, yeah. but they, they're, they're collecting their thoughts. Oh yeah, definitely gotta roll that insight. What? Ooh, a natural no, 20 a, again. That's a, that's a 7. A Ooh, natural 20 again? Ooh, 17. Uh, not a nat 20, an unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Okay. So. Uh, that's one from, from, from Nebula. Up, 21. I, I, oh, sorry, Winona? Sorry, I say I mistyped on there. It's a 17, not an 18. Okay. So. A 21, a 20, and an 18. It's... For the 20 and the 21, um, there is something ongoing that's, like, picking up... Like, there's there's a new development that is um, made this informa information even more troubling. Um, that they sh are probably going to tell, mm -hmm. but they're... they're they're still brewing. Mm -hmm. um, with an 18, I think that you, you get that... Well, obviously, they're extremely troubled, and they're not mad at the professor or, or anyone here. Um, and it might be in the best interest of the surroundings for them to find, like, a punching bag or something soon. Mm-hmm. Mm. I see. Yep, but they're they're fine for now. Mm -hmm. So Scribbles does put down his thermos onto the table and does invite Toc to get on his lap if he want if he wants. Mm. They they look like they're about to snap, and then they look up, and it's Scribbles and. There are a few people people nicer than Scribbles. They can't. They mm -hmm. they will feel even worse if they if they yell. So they just sort of tuck their their beak on top of one of his arms and just sort of stew. They stew. Mm -hmm. the, um, the professor is gonna um, pour himself a cup of tea and 
uh, take a sip, and he says, I'll get to, um, uh, I'll get to the other bit, the, um, what happened to my family, but let's, let's talk about something else first. We'll get back to that. Dribbles mm -hmm. nods. Yeah. I... If you don't mind, mm. I... Well, he looks at the means. professor. Yeah. And then he looks at the at Nebula and TSC. There's... I... In probably Marigold, who told you that we not too long... A little bit ago. Well, uh, it was supposed to be a day trip to my university. And I and say it was simple. I was, I, well, I did turn in my notes for my research for them to be published. I say I went to the Wizards College to choose my major, which <laughs> I did. And say magical architecture. Magical architecture. Gonna be studying genius loci. So, to get to know, to get to maybe figuring out scr scratch in a bit more. And he smiles at that warmly. <laughs> <laughs> However, there was a incident. No well, kidding. Yes, mm -hmm. I. I was kidnapped by a few of my fellow students who had a grudge against me. Mm -hmm. I slighted them in the past and they wanted their revenge. They... Not, they caught me off guard. They trapped me. It, it. Yes, and the scribbles freezes as you can def TSA. You can definitely feel him tense immensely and shake vis shake like a leaf. Mm, they sort of flop closer. You can feel a very warm, fluffy weight in your lap. Just sort of grounding. Yeah, and Scribbles just takes a moment and just sort of, like, regains himself. He catches UTOC just in that having something, like you said, having something to ground him is just like, it's okay, at least kind of now. But he takes a breath and is like, you are probably wondering, well, no, I'll get too ahead of myself. I'm dancing around what really happened. We were attacked, and they took my book, and they burned it right in front of me. And basically, I saw Scratch being burned alive. That is a horrified look on Nebula's face. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the professor just sort of, like, nods solemnly. He knows this, but it doesn't... It's not any easier hearing it the second time. God damn it. TUC has put their head down, facing... Scribble so that no one can see their expression. Um, they they are just sort of pressing extre extremely hard against his his metal. Yeah, and Scribbles tastes like I was able to save him. I was able to pull him within my soul, but at a cost. It literally used up all my magical energy and what magic energy was left was made was g 
given strength to him to sustain him so he wouldn't die. If I remember right, the strain was so great that it basically dislocated your soul. Okay. Scribble dots. Yep. That that's what happened. We had to go see a soul doctor about it. Very nice my old man named Dr. Luma. Mm. They say he was able to re- relocate. Relocate? Well, fix me up. Mm-hmm. And, well, I say I'm still recovering, but it was very traumatic. And... And Scratch did survive. Yeah, Scribble's not. Scratch did survive. And he sort of also looks at the other two, just sort of an affirmation of, yes, this boy is still alive. What is the situation currently, then, as to... Uh... I suppose how, how things are going, how... How Scratch is doing, how... Scratch is it's still... Being... Sorry, you go. Uh, just, 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 uh, uh, it's being kept alive. Like, is, is, is still connected with you? How, how is it? How are things going? The soul bond is still strong. And I'm glad it was, otherwise, he'd probably be gone. But... He is still within my soul right now, recovering. We are almost back up to full now. Right, I say, maybe, I say, maybe in a bit. I say, maybe next month, I'll be up to strength to actually put him into a new book. And be able to summon him again. But he, he will be okay. I, he then grabs his furnace. I, there's this special medicine I've been taking that basically gives gives back gives magic to me. Hmm. I'm basically drinking magic, which huh. it's very interesting. <laughs> Any interesting? Sorry, author, oh, sorry. I can hear you. TUC um, looks up at. Uh, scribbles and signs and what of what of the your attackers all in jail from what I know of only in jail oh we gave them for now we gave them quite the um, quite the beating yeah I heard about that I Mm. heard you I heard gold ice turned red correct um, actually, um, it, it was, uh, if I hadn't, if I hadn't thought to cast, um, uh, if, if I, if I hadn't thought to cast, um, detect thoughts to find, um, to find out that, uh, that, that scratch was within you, I, hmm, worse things would have happened that day. Well, it's just not. Not yeah. at this. Mm. <laughs> because we were under the impression that um, that a murder had taken place. It was only an attempted murder. But we were not aware of that. I don't blame you, and I was knocked out. That didn't make it any better. No, no, you, you couldn't tell us. Ah, it was, um, it was quite the mess. The next time you have anything to do with that university, I would like to come along as bodyguard. He's still attending. As, as You're in classes? No, 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 no. Uh, no, I was, say, Professor Princeton wrote to me, and yeah, it's just, I'm not taking classes right now. I'm on medical leave as of right now. But he 
reached out with his most sincere apologies. Though I will have to note the president of the whole university didn't yet, but mm. that's a matter for another day. Apologies. Hmm. Well, and I'll tell you, the medical staff was not at all helpful either. We had to, we had to, um, we had to smuggle, uh, scribbles out to see, um, to see a different doctor because they, uh, heard about, um, they were told, uh, about the matter involving soul magic and they laughed. Transfer. You're not wrong, TOC. I just... There's just been a lot to think about, and I've just been trying to focus on recovering for right now. You can always transfer later if you like. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get our girl some therapy. I agree mm. there. I agree yes. there. Yeah. She thought that she saw her, her brother and her father being murdered. Yes. Yeah. And I think I hmm, I think I inadvertently frightened her with um gosh, doesn't she not like fire? Yeah. He does not like fire. What did you do? Uh, I well, I I challenged. She a, saw the book. Oh uh, well, there was that, but also, uh, well, I mean, yes, that was probably the worst of it. Um, but I I think I did ac accidentally oh. spook her when I I challenged a um, uh, a bard armed with uh fire magic to a duel. Um, oh my God! You 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 challenged Amos. You know, you were there! Forgot about that for a second as a player, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my okay. mind went out- my <laughs> mind went out the window for a minute, I was just like- That's okay! Wait, wait hang on, I can fix I can fix this. You challenged what? <laughs> uh... Uh... uh <laughs> TUC would like to, um, hop from Dribble's <laughs> lap onto the table and walk sort of carefully around the food over to the professor's side of the table I didn't, pop up on his shoulders I didn't know pop up on his head peck 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 <laughs> T.O.C. I didn't know he was armed with fire magic until I had already challenged him to a duel peck 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 ah uh, and, and anyway it was, it was fine faith letter to nebula <laughs> <sighs> you still smell burnt. <laughs> well. Yeah. Didn't, um... Did, speaking of, um, Marigold, did, wasn't she going to go on some sort of quest or something? Yeah, that's how she got my medicine. I say she oh. had to... I say she... I say... She had to convince an old cat to give the medicine, and that cat is still around the apartment. Oh. Granted, she, gra granted, I found out this cat was actually a extremely old Uda Magic Hay. Really? And herself, so she's she's been quite valuable in just research and just telling me her stories, but she's still a grumpy old cat. Wow, I would not have expected that. We Me need either. to talk to that girl about her bringing home pets. This is one, two, I guess I'm technically three. <laughs> you know, I think Jewel and you would get along wonderfully. I don't know how to take this. <laughs> uh, Nebula is just kind of sitting there and he's like, Miracle never really went into too much detail about all of this. And he is concerned because it seems like she went through a lot with this. Mm -hmm. The entire not. point of this group was because she wasn't telling us things. 
This is this is the function of this group. Mm. To, to keep each other abreast, to stay on the same. It feels tactless to say page right now. Yeah, but keep yeah, you know, just keep everything in mind. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah. Thankfully Jewel didn't really want to hurt them. She was just she's just a very Honestly, she could use some therapy herself. Like, this is a very depressed cat. Oh. She, literally, technically, she is dying right now because her own her mm-hmm. own source is cracked. Like, she oh. tries to hide it, but ugh, sorry, I'm getting off on a, another ramble. This feels like this should be addressed. Mm. It should be, but. She's say she's now been more protective of her, her own well being now lately, so I don't know where she hid it in the apartment. Huh. <clears throat> Interesting. Well I I also have some news relevant to Marigold. Mm. Um mm. it's oh Professor, mm. I met another one of yours. Oh, Ooh. Um, it's the, um, your little murdered child, Camille. My, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, murder. Oh, oh, of course, of a, a detective, right. I'm sorry. The homicide one, yes. Yes, yes, sorry, I, hmm. You said murder child, and I <laughs> was thinking, who committed a murder? Me uh, <laughs> too, why would a good child... Oh, I mean, well, children are prone to it, in my experience, but... Um, yeah, you need to hang out with more children. Mm. Uh, that said, um, okay, you met Camille? Yes, Camille um, was involved in... Um, Trini did, in fact, go missing. Mm, okay. Oh. Sir? He's fine now, I say, uh, having not played out the rest of Case of the Missing Television. <laughs> um, fair, fair. But they... Camille was involved. Happily, it was not a murder that time, kind of. Well, uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting off track. Alright. But right. more recently, um... Do you know what a paint fest is? A paint fest? Um, um, I mean, I don't, I, some sort of festival involving paint, I would imagine. Well, mm, and TUC actually considers, hops (laughs) off Nebula's skull, uh, walks a few, um, a few paces away, um, and... Oh, Discord, please let me access FPS notes. Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh, wonderful. That's not a fumble. Mm. So they pull out um, a full-sized uh, anchor dripping with ink. Uh... Mm-hmm. And they go, it's um, a game where you sort of throw paint at each other and around. Oh, a game. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. And they they look around for um do you like these paving stones this color? It doesn't matter. Okay. And they slam the uh the anchor down on the uh the pavers. Um, on the pavers and I believe they turn they are covered in cyan paint. Oh. Alright. Oh. And- uh, I believe a sizable, uh, I think a couple squares on, in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a solid 10 to 15 square feet. <laughs> sure. I don't have the exact stats in front of me, but... Um, okay. They go, yes, um, Camille was being used as a projectile um, by uh, the other team. Really? He's fine. Oh? Yes. Ah. Uh, is he? 
<laughs> he appears to be, be very Have horrible. you never seen? I mean, have you not seen sports ball before? I what? Have um, I not seen? Well, I mean, I I heard that you had that that was a sport, but I don't. No, I haven't seen sports ball. I was gonna say yeah, it's just as crazy. We need, it's we need just to bring as crazy. You to a sports ball game. That's a, that would be very interesting. I agree. There, there's I. I don't like I don't like sports ball myself. I'm not a sports person. Probably very obvious, but I'd be willing to go a game with you just to show you what it is. He just sort of shrugs expansively, like, "All right." I kind of like it. it. Has sort of cult undertones, anyways. Oh, um, <laughs> yes, he appears to be extremely throwable. I think he weighs like a pound. Um, <laughs> okay. Is he like? So, is he mage Han- Wait, is he mage Hannibal? Is he-, he is mage Hannibal. Uh, I oh know because gosh. someone used mage hand on him. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and also uh, involved was. Um, a uh, a young man uh on my team, not on the opposing team, uh named Lore. Lore? You you met yes. Lore? Yes. Oh Lore. What do you Lore know is- Lore as well? No, but that's an interesting name to say the least. Oh, obviously. It's properly Lorem, uh as in maps, but mm. um Yes, we uh we actually struck it off. Um, I and they look a little bit shifty. Mm-hmm. Um, no insight t- necessary. They appear to have adopted another one. Uh huh. Smiles oh. at that. I see. Okay. Oh, Nebula gives them a knowing look. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. What's that look? <laughs> Shut up! Stop looking like. Don't look at me with those big old eyes. <laughs> It's okay. He, 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 look, he looks away with a smile like, oh, nothing. Scribble's just pats. Uh, pats. <laughs> a TOC's back. He's like, well, on lighter news, I met again with a friend of mine, Tangy, and he's been hanging I... around. Mm-hmm. Tangy Lulor, if you know the name. Wait, what? He's what He's what now? I say, he's, he's been hanging around and say, we've been talking a bit more lately, and He's been trying to keep an eye on the apart on the apartment while I've been recovering. He's a very talented sorcerer. Oh, good. I say, if you ever meet him, he's a very nice man. He's a father himself. Hmm. Well, if you have um, DOC taken uh, lore under your wing, so to speak. Uh, I it's I'm glad for that. The kid needs more friends. He does. He He seems to have been dealt in, in a difficult hand. Um but it's Mhm. Mm, the kids around here, I'm afraid to ask. Does he even go to school? Uh He's 18. So no. He's also appears to be cursed to wander. Mm-hmm. I see. He can't. He, I tried to take him home in the ellipsis, and I ended up in a disco. Ah, I see. In a disco. In a disco. And he didn't even know what a disco was. He's from that small of a town. <sighs> no, but um. I'm. It's. He needs um, people in his life. Um, he does. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, he uh, he was one of the people that I um, uh, that saw. Uh, I, hmm. I I mentioned last time that, uh, briefly, I think, that, um, the way I recovered my memories was with the help of three friends, 
uh, Seeker, Amber, and uh, new acquaintance, Lore. Lore. Um, so all three of them, um, uh, Seeker, the only one who's, I mean, I guess Lore's technically an adult. If he's human, then yes. Um, technically, hmm. but 18 is still very young. Oh, believe me, I, I consider everyone under 200. A child, more or less. Uh, he's oh. he counts by far, but not uh, not strictly speaking. It's complicated. But um, no, the point being, um, three children uh, helped me unearth uh, some of the most horrifying memories I have. So just just to reiterate that they have also seen those things now. I may have inadvertently traumatized them. So be on the lookout for that. Yes. TUC is writing in the notebook on a page labeled Reasons Why Seekers Should Be in Intensive Therapy. <laughs> it, it appears to be almost complete. We feel we're sort of scribbling in a margin of something that's already written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... <sighs> Um, Nebula, uh, did you have anything you wanted to, uh, share with the group? Uh, unlike all of you, it seems, or at least, uh, you professor and scribbles, I, there hasn't been too much going on, mm -hmm. uh, which is nice, uh, aside from worrying about those in my life who do have things going on that aren't, don't seem to be quite great. Um, stars, this was a lot. Um, but aside from that, things have been more or less normal. Oh, that's something. I agree. At least Here's something. The looks, looks what? author I would... oh it's i i went quite when i realized that i was talking over winona um oh no no you go you go tfc actually looks extremely relieved because they also they worry about they worry about uh the skeleton a lot like a lot a lot <laughs> they have they continue to have uh very very low opinions of his ability to take care of himself that's, yeah. that's valid. They don't mm -hmm. have to worry right now. Uh, later, they probably will. Um, we we oh, know boy. what's going to happen there, but uh, not yet. <laughs> He's, fine right He's fine right now. He's fine right now. Yeah, Scribble does look a little... Like, he does smile and is a bit relieved. Just like, at least someone is not having trouble. <laughs> and uh, I think... Um... That means it's time for uh, the professor to quit procrastinating. Um, yeah. I. But um, before we do that, I was going to call a short break. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. One too, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, do you want ten minutes? Ten or... minutes would be good. Yeah, ten minutes. Okay. All right. All right. I will let all of you back in. <laughs> Back in 10 at hour 37. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hi, uh, Gallery, how are you all? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad people are having fun. God, it's I'm dying because TOC still has more shit. They still have more shit. Um, some of it is lore shit, some of it is marigold shit. I guess it's also a little bit seeker shit. There is so much shit. I agree, uh, Fletch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot uh 
look at your uh, your username with a straight face, Fletch. Um, for the, the listening audience, Fletch, uh, player of Camille, has instantly become murder child. Ah. Gosh. Comet has uh, reported that uh, Marigold is uh, probably a puddle somewhere. What? <laughs> a good puddle? Uh, Marigold is a puddle. Okay. <laughs> Wait, puddle? <laughs> I'm confused as to what that means. Uh, I think it means traumatized. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's about right. Mm. Oof. Oh dear. <laughs> it's God comic. We need an FPS. It's QC is so worried. But also like this this Also, um, it's TUC does have one more thing. Oh. Um it's they they do want to talk about uh the uh, the events of verbography. Um Okay. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. If you want to um, interrupt that, with that, that, then that's that's fine with me. Yeah, same here. Okay, it's um, it might take a little bit longer. Uh, I apologize, oatmeal. Oh, uh, I I am so eyes at what we're about to discuss. Like, I don't want to cut the tension. No, yeah, no, same. it's. I mean, I called a break. You can just interrupt. The professor in character will take any uh, any any delay because he doesn't want to talk mm-hmm. about it. <laughs> It's like it's like they they want to talk about um the library. They want to talk about the person they met in the library. They want to talk about um the implications that this has for um a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it. I want to hear yeah. it. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. Yeah, we shall do that. Wait, in character, I don't think we decided anything. So no, we have not. I, I just, mm. out of character, started saying stuff and said, let's take a break, so. Yeah. I say, the enough. Scribbles has, has the mind just like, I need to see these children and keep an eye on them, too. There's too many children. Mm-hmm. TUC, it's, it's technically, they have added two to the mix. Uh, they're sorry, except they're not. TUC has had two what's? TUC has added two to the mix. Uh-huh. They're sorry that they're uh, they Not. don't regret anything because they're kids. Yeah, I'm, which is fair. Hmm. They're also hmm. Um, that was a lot of info that they now have. Yeah. Info on what? Uh, info on uh the Pete Moss situation. Oh yeah. The kids are not alright. Yep. Yeah. All I want is a cover of the kids are alright, um, but each verse is these four complaining. <laughs> that or maybe like a we didn't start the fire sort of deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, Comet. You're gonna break our hearts. Comet, no. Oh, dear. We didn't start the fires a little on the nose for both Comet and Scribbles right now. 
You're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You are exactly right. Look close to the mark there. Yeah. Oh Jesus. I didn't even <laughs> Didn't even think about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, now I'm coming up with lyrics. I can't do this. Oh no no no. I don't no, uh Fletch, I don't I don't roll for it. They they literally like we I, I appreciate the near miss that happened with Into Silence where, like, uh, Sammy said something about something happening with um, a friend, air quotes, and it was Camille, but they didn't name names, so the professor doesn't know who that is. So, it's all good. It's very fun, the way it sh shook out so far. Uh also, comment, I, I handshake you. That It's sort of the reason why, I, like, I did my, the game that I did, because I was just like, I think I stalled for this episode long enough, but at the same time, they were going through all the pokemon -y stuff. It's just like, well, it's going to be short anyways to do this now or another. No, now or never, I hit the big red button, a pain in, in, in angst. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, even though we're even though they are having these meetings, there is still a great deal of um, dramatic irony going on, and and mm -hmm. that fact is everything to me. <laughs> I know, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. They're trying so hard, but in the end, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Uh... Oh boy. The chat has been having a time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the chat has been having a time. And now the cobblestones are blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue now, that's your attack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the block don't the block keeps coming and it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming. <laughs> Thank you, Fletch. We needed that. <laughs> Man, I'm still waiting for Undertunes. Ooh, yeah. That's when things are going to kick off. For oh, Nicola, at least. I can't oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Wait, author? Oh, God. Oh, oh author yeah. Is... Oh, author well, is. just muted. Oh. No, no, that's magic. No. Oh, author is God. Oh. Okay. No. Gosh. Rip. Well, this break might be a little longer than 10 minutes. That's okay. Yeah, I'll be alright. Yep. <laughs> okay. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, we're just very glad that the boy is okay now. <laughs> Camelia. Still haven't listened to anything with Camille in him. <laughs> yeah, I need you I need that. to I need to listen to more of his stuff. I learned a lot of it secondhand, but that's I learned everything secondhand. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's just how you gotta you can't listen to everything, so Yeah. If, yeah. You gotta you gotta just absorb what you can. I've learned yeah. Camille's stuff from like updates on Jubilee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh yeah. Author. Author <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hello? Can you hear us? Hello? If you are speaking, Author. we cannot hear you. Yes. We cannot hear you right now. You are muted as of now. Well, it's not muted. Well, uh, not- we yeah, not- here. yeah, not muted muted, but, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, your mic is not working as of right now. Yeah. Yeah, I would take you up. I know a little bit, but yeah, I would take you up on that too, Fletch. Oh uh, no! Oh dear! It's coming. That doesn't look. Uh, yeah, that's just yeah. Uh, yeah. Can can you hear us? 
Yeah, for the people in the audience and on recording, mm. literally we saw we're seeing a picture of Arthur's screen, and his Discord is all white. Yeah, just blank, blank white. Oh, why did I ask if you could hear us? You can't answer because uh, neither the yeah. mic, neither your sound or the or your um, chat is working. Yeah. Uh, jeez. I mean, they were able to send the picture, so it could be. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Phone. Phone, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Blech. So, Magic, did you like your roast session? <laughs> uh, mm. Nice. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> They're so worried about your boy! Yeah! <laughs> we love the boy. Aww. <laughs> So, I just realized something. Hmm? I think Scribbles is the only one out of this whole group that hasn't met Seeker. Yeah, yeah. Scribbles still has not met Seeker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's fix that. <laughs> uh. And we can fix this. <laughs> oh, hello? Hi! Oh, hi yeah. Water! Hey, water! This Hello. fucking invisible right now. However, I can hear you. Yay! We can hear you too. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Well. All right. Great. I apologize for that. That's no, no problem. It, mm -hmm. Technical difficulties happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I don't know. It says that Discord is not running on my computer. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, like <laughs> you're here, so though. I... Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't. Mm. But um, it it's working for now. So okay, um, as long as it keeps working, I guess. I don't know. All right. Oh my God. Apologies. That's no okay. problem. No problem. Yeah, no problem at all. All right. Are we good to uh, yep. keep going then? I think so. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, back in. Um, let's see. Who finished talking? Um, oh, yeah. We asked if Nebula was doing anything, and Nebula was like, not really. <laughs> yeah. Um, Everyone was happy that some, that there wasn't a crisis, another crisis. <laughs> no news yeah, is good yeah. news. Yeah. <laughs> we have achieved one thing, and that is there's one sense of no normality. <laughs> yep. Like, one of us has had a normal week. Yep. <laughs> the professor is just going to take some... Take a cookie, take a few berries. Mm. He's got his tea. TUC uh, will very reluctantly sign. Um, it's, I should probably also mention um, some other things that have come up that are germane to Marigold mm -hmm. and also a little bit to Lore. Um, oh. By all means. So, um, the other day I found a library that I wasn't sure if it had been there before. I suspect not. Oh. Um, mm, that's the best it was, mm, it was divine in nature. Oh. It was the... I retract my yes. statement. <laughs> <laughs> the last remnants of the domain of the god of continuity. Oh, not... No, hang on. Retcon? No. Retcon... Um, as, as I understand it, which I don't, retcon is still, 
I don't know. I haven't met Net Retcon happily. Um, All right. Con this continuity was the continuity of Anquil in particular, and mm. um, apparently there's been a continuity break. Oh. Yeah, okay. And as such, there is no more overarching continuity, and he is out of a job. When did that happen? I feel like I should have noticed. I mean, yeah, it feels like that's a giant shift in the universe, but I... Say so he sort of motions to the professor, like I have no idea, any more than probably you probably know more. I mean, when you're within it, typically um, it, the sort of these sort of things smooth over so that nobody notices. But um, as well, not quite an outsider, but uh, as somebody who can sort of look at it from the outside in, um, I guess because that is what an outsider is. But um, hmm. I feel like I should have noticed this shift, but maybe I've just been in too involved in Inkwell recently to, um, to sense it. Uh, alright, oh uh, continuity of Inkwell, yes? Well... Out of a job. Yes, the... Connie, um... Was... Dying. Oh dear. Is dying. Oh. It's... As far as I know, he's holding steady now, but, um, the library, as overwhelming as it was, um, was all that he had left of his domain. Mm. Um, I haven't heard as much from him as I had hoped, but, um, he shed some light on the past of another person that is entangled with uh, Marigold life. Hmm. When you all will remember when her her grove mother went into hiding. Hmm. Yeah, but um, a liar. I I asked the dead god to step up. Mm-hmm. Connie knew the dead god before they became what they are now. Hmm. They were the, the god of long periods of time, oh. transitional endings. Hmm. And mm -hmm. their name was Aeon and On. Oh. Cool. And oh. they when they came to Einquell, um in order to stop existing, they disassembled their domain, really. They mm. dismissed their followers. They turned their, their temples to rubble mm. and did their best to erase their name from every 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 pair of lips on the planet i would be surprised if you could find a, a picture of them anywhere um except in the mind of this i think very young god hmm. it's at first they seem to be in their maybe early 30s but as time went on there were flashes of them looking younger and younger, particularly when they talked about the dead god or Aeon and On. Mm. And they left. The, the dead god did. Mm. They left and this person was left to grieve them without any any explanation, any warning. And since then, I have been unable to contact them. Oh, that's not good. Wasn't... Yeah, Scrib yeah, Scribble is, is immediately tensing up. Wasn't the dead god powering Marigold? Yes. And she's... she's fine. She's fine. Mm. I checked as soon as I thought anything was the, the matter. Oh, thank um, God. She... 
funny turn of phrase mm. because I turned to them because they had been a constant in my life for as long as my life has been what it is. Literally, they made me. Me. And now they're gone. Mm hmm. It's not that they're gone. Well, it's eerie. It's that they left in the first time. That they had someone depending on them, and they. I don't know if they didn't realize or if they. I don't know. But. But they've. I want to. Sorry? But they've disappeared again? They seem to have. Um, the last time I, I saw them was when I nearly died in front of Lore and. Yes. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. And TUC sort of like hides their, their head under a wing, sort of grouchily. Like. <laughs> They were so close to not having to talk about that. Like, see, very much dad like. He's just like, do you have something to tell us? Well, at least Don't it was a nearly. First of all, I'm pretty sure I'm older than you, Whippersnapper. Me? Um, no, that's two um, scribbles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, you're in yeah. college now. <laughs> <laughs> And yet, look how more mature I am. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get out <laughs> Yeah, I say, you know, Scribble says just like, I'm willing to talk about this shit, because this is stuff that we need to talk about. <laughs> Gosh. The professor laughs at that. <laughs> Gosh. Oh boy, I need to get back in character. That just fucking took me out. Woo! <laughs> 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 mm. okay, I know that one sorry. after zero. <laughs> 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 oh god, Jesus. Okay, I'm a chicken right now. Okay. <sighs> oh no. Now I've got the giggle. See what you've done. <laughs> Regret nothing. <laughs> TUC is just. There was a minor incident. Um, it. There was a street performer who lost who lost control of a charm, and it hit me. And it happened to be transformation magic, and oh. they sort of do a a, a big gesture. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wait. Uh -huh. What? What is? What is the significance of it being transmutation magic? Oh, you don't know. I was not informed. I mm, am always in a state of transformation. Hmm. It is taking a very long period of time. Um, this is because this is what the dead god did to me. Yes. Um, and it changes and fluctuates, and if it is upset entirely, um, let's say sped up, uh, um, then the, the long period of time that is part of what's keeping me together is no longer keeping me together. And hmm. they, they, they shuffle their, their wing a little bit stiffly, as if there's an, a, an old injury there, um, which... I believe Nebula knows that there is. Nebula um, does know this. And mm. they go. So, um... Yeah, and... that That's the reason why I've died so many times. Um, there was the first time mm. when I died, died. Mm -hmm. And then... Whenever... Whenever there is an incident, um... Trini was present for one. Um, hmm. There was an, another minor one the first time we fused Nebula, but um, you know, each, 
each time the the dead god has been able to fix me. And how how exactly do you come back? What 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 sort of mechanism? What is it a spell? Is it like a spell? It's, it's almost not quite similar to I'm not a cleric or a warlock or a paladin, thank God. Mm. Um, but I am a draw on their power. I, I in a way I am a as I understand it, an ongoing spell. Hmm. Interesting. It's yeah. So, just as an, an analogy they used once is, um, if a counter spell is cast on um, an incantation, there is the opportunity to cast counter spell against the counter spell, and that uh. is something like what they do. They they feed more time into it, and. It, the other components of the spell sustain me. Spite, love. Hmm. These are things that I don't run out of easily. What does it feel like? Horrible. Oh. It, it, well. I mean, they, I can understand that. But. Yeah. Was hoping maybe it skipped over. I was hoping it was a little more like, um, um, uh, getting put back, um, right before you died. Not, not quite. No, um, no, of course not. Then they look sort of very hard at you, like, hmm, you have some preconceptions of this, and you've said some shit in the past. <laughs> <laughs> And they go. It, they they have to reheal um, the injury that mm. killed me, mm. and they sort of pour me back into what I am now. It's there's it, a, a transformational aspect to it. Um, mm -hmm. The love that is sort of struggling to keep me going latches on to whoever's closest and picks a design that's closest to them. Um, hmm. If Nebula was around, I'd look like probably a short, grouchy skeleton. Hmm. Um, if I assume um, if you were around, I'd at least look like Time Czar. Hmm. Hmm. If Scribbles was around, I'd be... Um, Probably some sort of unpleasant stick figure. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Skittle> just nods. <laughs> so, what happened then when... Oh, but you didn't quite die in front of Lore. Is that what I'm hearing? It, they were able to fix me. Um, Before you went all in, the way. No, fixing... Fixing me involves dying. But you don't look any different. Yes. Alright, what happened between now and then? Well... You just said that when you come back, you take a different form. But While I'm dying, I take a different form. Wow! Oh. Mm. So... I stumbled into an alley, and Lord came and found me, and for a time while we waited, um, I looked a little bit like Lore. That's... Still, not not quite, it, I'm told more like a, a relative, or there, there's certain rules that I can be, I suppose, identified by, but... That's fascinating. Thanks. Well, it is. Time, Professor. But should we make... I was hoping nothing like this would happen again. It's just... Should we make 
plans to have backups just in case if something happens to Marigold that they do cut off all cut off all ties that they break their their deal. They. Mm. I also want to mention that um, another another friend of mine, Crystal. See, they seem to have been infected with fey magic. Oh. Which means that their their oaths are even more b- binding than the oaths of a god usually are. Wait, they're a... Yeah. Uh... So they're a god infected with fey magic. As I understand it, it's... My understanding of fey magic is that it's messy. Oh, yes. Deed, in a word, messy. There are diff- there are many different rules to it, some that even That's contradict... Right. Some that even contradict the others, which mm. can be very frustrating. Mm. It's... I mean, and they, they sort of gesture between them and the, the professor. Like, we have, we have a, a, a fae who can lie. Yeah. They, I don't think, can anymore. Um, hmm. Which okay. makes it all the more interesting that... And they stop, because they just realize that they know the uh, the dead god's true name. And they've shared it with all of you. And Professor tilts his head. Yeah, Scribbles does too. Maybe don't spread that around. Spread what? The name may on and on. True names in oh, at, at least the Fey magic I grew up near. Good well, grew heavens, T O C. They're a god. It I if it does what it does to mortals, we have bigger problems. I'm yeah. aware of what true names do. Yeah, it's just... Including what they do to gods. Yeah. Good yeah, heavens. It's... It... Well, this was the name that they used around their followers. I so I don't why? think it's that bad. I don't know about that. It de- they erased all their followers, if I recall correctly. Mm. Perhaps... There was a reason for that. They they look grouchy. I don't think it was a good reason. Well, perhaps not. Yeah, but... <sighs> all right. Yeah. Yeah, the... The, the point of all of this is that... One, if you find any word of the dead god, kick him in the shins for me, and then tell them to start answering me. Mm. And that we should start... At least looking into backups. I I can I would like to believe that they would die before they let Marigold fall. Mm. But I, But they disappointed this um continuity god, so I agree. They did. Yeah. Right. I have I mean You have an idea? Possibly. I mean Jewel's over a thousand years old, and she's a Ujamatic magic, and she's a she's a w- wonderful artificer. And along with possibly Doctor Luma, who's an expert at souls, I don't know. And you and we know a lot of art- artificers, and they say Scribbles looks at TOC. <laughs> mm-hmm. can- I. Isn't she fading, though? Jewel, you said so. Apparently, but she hasn't talked to me about it, so I'm guessing it's not going to happen anytime soon. Hmm. And in the meantime, she might be able to help Marigold? Is that the gist Possibly. of it? Possibly. Hmm. I say, 
She used to say she created a whole island of automatons. Whoa. Okay. Well, I no. think that qualifies her for the position. <laughs> yeah. I. And... I'm tired of trusting this this child to any one individual. It's. I don't think your idea is a bad one. I think we should do it, but we. I think that we should... The problem needs to be fixed a different way. In the long run. I, I agree there. It's just... We need to f- figure out how. Mm-hmm. And... In the meantime, I would feel better if there... If we pursued multiple lines of questions. So that if one falls, if two falls, there's another. And I agree there. I say, I know that... Uh, out of player, I forget the name! I say, the... Per- say, the... Uh, what? Who? Who? Toc lives with? I forget their name. Juniper. Juniper. I knew it was a flower. I can't remember it. It's a tree. Oh, it's a tree. Huh. <laughs> Juniper tree. Huh. Fair. Mm. Yeah, but I'm was sorry. Like, go on. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. Yeah, she was like, yes. That's why I was say we have Juniper too, who maybe could also maybe figure out something. I don't say I haven't met her, but you she. You said she's an artificer. Maybe she has another idea. Juniper, um, wait, hang on. I'm sorry. There's suddenly uh, TUC. We're all over the place, but um, I do need to roll it in. Uh, okay, a seven. Um, there's a, a soft sort of gentle smile um, when they say her name Mm. Um, that is extremely plain and all of you can well I don't know how much your your characters would read into it but they're not hiding shit (laughs) Juniper is easily the smartest person I've ever met Um, and I know she cares deeply about Marigold um This this is definitely something that we should we should talk more about. I agree. And if you have anyone else, Professor, that you know of, or you, let's say, Nebula, I at least have two that we could go to. We have one from, from TOC. Again, like... TOC said, the more lines, the better. The professor just sort of shakes his head slowly. I don't know anyone here, I don't think, that's qualified to make a difference with this problem, and I... I can't... I can't get somebody off-planet involved that would violate too many... eh, No, I can't. There's no one that immediately comes to mind, but if I if I think about if I think of anyone, then I'll I'll definitely bring it up. Gribble's not, and maybe I I know of a connection who has many many different connections. Lynn. Lynn, yes. Maybe she could also I could she can throw out she can find <laughs> she mm. she obviously she could probably find anyone that we could possibly need. I need to meet Lynn. It's I've heard a lot from different people. She's something. Mm. She say once you're in her network, she will not let go. I know this for sure. Hmm. Ominous, but if you speak to her, then I I trust your judgment. Hmm. And well, for. For what it's worth, thank you for trusting mine. Um, 
If you hadn't, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Scribbles nods. Of course I trust your judgment. To say... <sighs> well, we cannot plan for everything. But, but we can do the best with what information that we now have. Hmm. Was there anything else about that library, um, TFC, that, um, that you wanted to cover? Or is that about everything? That, well, oh, it, well, and they sort of shuffled their wings. Um, they have adapted to the god. Anyways, what were you talking about earlier, the professor? You... We're moving on. Uh, <laughs> to uh, Twitch Prime. I already talked to Twitch Prime. Who? Uh, it's the god. He's the god of entertainment. He's actually. He's literally only thirty. I had to talk. Say he was only thirty years old. Two years older than me. Nice. No, he's fellow though. I say he lives in Pritch future world. Too. I say Pritch. I say Pritch is a nice fellow. I say he's. Say, I only met him once, but he's very nice. I say, he didn't realize he was a dad, and we had to have a talk about that and tell him, well, he, he is a dad. But that's a different topic. Um, amused smile from Nebula. What? Why do the four of us know so many gods? Oh, you don't... Mm. I know <laughs> too many. Why do we know so many gods? I know another god, but hopefully he'll never pop up again. <laughs> oh, oh is it the one that I met that once? Yes. Oh, and no. It, it, yeah. Oh, uh, no. I say no, but yeah. You could, there, there's a jump cut off to screen with chaos, idiot popcorn, watching all this from a TV screen. Oh, that's right. Chaos. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Then we jump back cut to here. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right. Hmm. Well. If that's. Nobody else has anything else they need to share with the group. You see, it's staring directly at the professor. So it scribbles. Oh God, he he, uh, yeah, he he is he is looking off to the side, pointedly. Sir, well, uh, I think it's about time then. I, um, hmm. Puc will jump over and settle in his lap. Yeah, he, he gives TFC a pat. Well, uh, do I start at the beginning or the end? Usually stories start at the beginning. Oh, right. If you insist. Um, well, the Time Czars were created by three beings. Um, this is important. I, I'm not stalling. Um, <laughs> um, the, uh, the solar engineer, um, Epsilon, whom you met, um, posthumously, uh, Scribbles. So I remember him, and I was not happy with that god. Well, he's, okay. he's not a, he's not actually a god. He just sort of, um, thought that he should have been. Delightful. I mean, he's, yeah, he's, but he was really powerful. Oh. Technically, I think he counts, but that's a different discussion. Please continue. I, hmm. That would be, that would be, hmm. That would be quite the debate. The, the Time Sars have a thing against gods, uh, and so did he, but that's, um, 
besides the point, um, uh, he and, um, let's see, um, Epsilon, the solar engineer, um, uh, Tassilon, the geneticist and the leader, um, and the, uh, mysterious other, uh, participant, um, the extra, um, that's, that's all they're known as. Um, these, these three, uh, Phalagreans, um, created the, the time czars. They turned the, uh, Phalagrean race into, uh, what we now know as, uh, time czars by giving them three things. Um, space travel, time travel, and, well, um, the ability to cheat death, more or less. Regeneration, we call it. It's not like the spell. It's different. You've um, mentioned this in the past. I have. I, yes. I... It's... It's important, so I might as well explain it. It's... It's, it's an ability inherent, uh, genetically to, uh, all time SARS, um, that, um, when, when we die, either of, um, of age or of, uh, some other means, um, we regenerate, we take a new form and, uh, are given, um, a sort of new, a new life. It's, it's like, it's like reincarnation, except you're still entirely you. Um, you can choose to look the same, even if you want. Um, you, uh, most people choose to have a uh, a different looking, uh, body, but, um, uh, some don't, uh, and, um, you, all the injuries go away, all the, um, any, uh, illnesses or curses are erased, and you have a new start. Um, it is a something of a massive, uh, uh, sort of massive healing, um, ability to sort of, uh, reset your being to one of, um, health. Uh, that said, yeah. um, hmm? I was gonna say, you can definitely say that for sure. Mm. That said, you can only do that 12 times, um, in your life. Uh, that is, that is part of the reason that, actually it is most of the reason, that time SARS have such long lifespans. Um, a single, uh, iteration, a single, a single life, nah, life is not the right word, um, a single, um, uh, incarnation, quote-unquote, um, can, can last thousands of years, um, until it, uh, that body, uh, ages and wears out and, uh, needs to be refreshed. Um, and you've gone through a quarter of yours? You, he sort of glares a little bit, because you're the only one that knows that, um, and he glances Jay. at Jay. the others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dribble look, looks at the professor. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, scribbles. I told you once. Uh, you no. You asked. Um, you asked if um, we were talking about ages. You asked if, um, uh, as a time czar, uh, if I could be um, proud of myself for having reached. Uh, 700 years, give or take. Well... I remember that. 
Yes. Nebula now has context of how many times and how long, like how long and how <laughs> long the device is supposed to laugh, and he he has gone. He, he is much concerned now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes. Well, I I think I told you. Um. I think I answered yes. I could be proud of myself for having reached seven hundred years. However, that was a half truth. Um. I could be proud of myself for reaching 700 years if I was only on my second um, incarnation. As it is, I am on my fourth. Um, I have gone through a quarter of the ones that I am allotted because I live a dangerous life and I do not sit around doing nothing on Falagre like all of my fellows. See. So, yes, I have died more times than I... Uh, by all rights, should have at this point in my uh, development, I suppose. For for context, if I sixty something ish, maybe we're not sure, hmm. would be what a toddler. Hmm. What are you asking? In in terms of lifespan, oh, I'm I'm well past being an adult. Uh, you you become an adult at about. Well, I mean, hmm, that's difficult. I explained it to Scribbles, but you become um, technically an adult at about the same time a human does, uh, eighteen, twenty, thirties. If you're late, um, uh, socially, however, you really don't gain respect and um, uh, typically you you aren't allowed um, the sort of social social positions um, in um, politics or education um, until you've reached at least a hundred um, so I'm I'm well past that but um, but um, I, I should I should only be in my if I were a typical times are I should only be in my second um, oh oh that's why not my first so so the thing is the uh, the first incarnation um, ages more rapidly than the rest only because you have to grow up in that one you go through a lot um, you only get um, maybe uh, two, three centuries uh, in your first incarnation um, if you're lucky. The rest of them last thousands of years. Mm -hmm. ah. So I would have I would have had to, re had to regenerate at least once by now anyway. But no more than that. Mm. Instead I've regenerated twice since then. I've 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 died a total of three times. Anyway, um, time's ours. Um, that's, that's our lot. And, um, I, for a long time, I, I had no memory of, well, no memory. I had conflicting memories, um, of, of the time before I left um, my home planet, Valagre. I wasn't sure if I had a family or if I had what happened to them. Um, the only thing I had of uh, certainty was my granddaughter, Sharon. She... We were not even sure if we were related. Um, and she couldn't remember either. And at that point, we'd both been exiled, so it wasn't like I could just go ask. Uh, this Do was... you remember why... Excuse me. Oh? Do you rem did you remember why you were exiled? Oh. Um, something to do with... Um, having the wrong ideals... Uh, Possibly, possibly I said something treasonous. 
I'm going to fight your play. Anyways, continue. Huh. And I'll I'll be right beside you, TOC. But continue. But yes, continue. <laughs> we will fight the planet Falagray. Anyways, <laughs> spectacular. Um. Well. Um. I wasn't sure what happened, and then, um, and any time I tried to think about it, and any time Sharon tried to think about it, um, we, it hurt. It, we would get these terrible migraines. Um, I had left it at that for centuries, um, thinking that I had no way of getting those memories back uh, or that I would ever find out what happened. Did did I see one of these at the library? Um, memories? No, migraines. Oh. I said with lack of memories. Oh, um. You might have? I don't remember. Um, if he rolled. If I had him roll con, then definitely, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he nods emphatically. I've had an increasing amount of these. Like I said, I'd sort of put it to rest for centuries. I had just sort of not thought about it. And then when I when I landed in Einquell, ah, it was uh, it was hard to ignore. Every family is everywhere here. Yep. <laughs> and it, I mean, I, it's it's a good thing, but but. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you were you were starred eyed and bushy tailed when I <laughs> I remember you taking you around Toontown for the first time. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. That was nice. So, now that you had us, and you had Seeker and Sammy and Arata and the rest, things were coming to a head. Precisely. And, um, the final blow, as it were, was, um, uh, was actually, um, Epsilon. Um, so, uh, Epsilon, we encountered his ghost, uh, which, um, by the way, I, I think I had noted should not have been possible, but I realized it can be, because since he was one of the founding Phalagrans, um, founding Time Zars, rather, um, he actually, um, he invented time travel before, uh, and, um, and got sort of, um, trapped in a um, demiplane before regeneration was fully developed and implemented. So he never got regeneration. So instead of following the normal rules, which would mean that um, as a time star, I, I can't become undead. Um, when I die for the final time, I, I won't <laughs> assuming everything goes well, um, I won't leave any matter behind. Um, there won't be anything left to turn uh, into undead. Um, no genetic material left. Um, but, but he Resident didn't... undead here is curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see me mm. no, will explode when dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but he says, um, he didn't have any of that. So as a sort of, um, uh, original flavor Falagrayan, he, uh, he, he followed the normal rules, the normal rules for, for, for dying and, uh, and becoming undead. And so he was able to form a ghost. I just hadn't expected him to. Um, but in any case, we went to go talk to him and, um, I thought he might be able to fill some of the gaps in my memory. Um, How hmm? However, he possessed you. And we had what? to fight you. Sorry? 
Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> he did do that. Yes. Much, much concern. Yes. Yep. We entered his domain, and he, he did, um, possess me. Uh, I wasn't expecting a ghost, in my defense, um, but a ghost he was, and he did possess me, and we did, they had to knock me out. He was, uh, combative. Very much so. Hmm. But, um, so, two things, two things he did that, um, sort of, uh, led to me, um, having a bit of a crisis, um, regarding those memories that I'd lost. Well, lost. I'll get to that. Um, he, um, he, um, he did, um, uh, damage my mind while he was in there, um, caused quite a bit of, uh, havoc, I can tell you, um, but- Jeez, he resists the urge to hold up two fingers. <laughs> yeah, it's girl, yeah, it's girls understands that urge, but he's trying to also be complacent. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, but aside from sort of, um, wrecking the place, um, he, uh, when I tried to ask, um, evasively, um, about, uh, to try to confirm something, one of my, what turned out to be a false memory, um, I tried to confirm it with him, and he, uh, he knew what I was trying to do, and he taunted me, um, said I would never find out what happened if I, if I left him there, uh, if I didn't help him escape. Well, obviously that didn't happen. But, uh, at the time it was certainly a lot less clear. Um, so with the sort of, um, mind shredding and, uh, that, um, last taunt and the sort of build up in Iquel, uh, after all this time, um, I was, <laughs> uh, just barely well enough to see off, um, Sammy, Arata, and Scribbles, um, before I fell in a sort of comatose state, um, I could not, I could not raise myself from, um, unconsciousness and I was unable to heal myself or, or rest properly. I was essentially trapped in my own mind for a short period of time, mm, about a day, I think. Um, and, uh, and then, um, to my surprise, uh, I was joined in my mind by, um, Seeker, Amber, and Lore. And, um, the three of them, I, I think it was um, the residual sort of, uh, psychic energy from, um, from Epsilon and from my own sort of turmoil that drew them in, um, it really shouldn't have been possible, but it was, uh, they were sort of drawn into my mindscape, and, um, I, I tried, I tried to get them to turn back, I tried to get them to leave, but they wouldn't have it. They wanted to fix what was wrong. Um, and so I ended up showing them the memories that I had, which were, some of them were false and some of them were true. And we figured out which ones were true. 
You all right? Sorry. <laughs> My cat is doing uh, oh. crimes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Sorry. Um, that's please okay. continue. I swear I'm listening. That's okay. Um, uh, what was I saying? Some of them, yeah, some of them were true, some of them were false. And we figured out which ones uh, were which. But I had to show them all of them. Um, uh, there were some comparatively trivial matters about uh, my origin, uh, my heritage. Um, and then there was the... Uh, Hmm. I am unsure how to describe it except as a massacre. Oh. Yes. Um, there were five versions of the event and two of them were true since apparently the first time around didn't work and um the enemy used time travel to correct themselves so that they would have an easier time erasing my memory of the event. My family, and I did have a family, I found out. Um, my family was taken and, um, all of them from uh, the uh, oldest great-grandparents to the youngest time taught from the uh, from my people as close to me as my own partner and as distant to me as my furthest cousin they were all taken and most of them, no, some of them were, some of them were killed in the only permanent way that I know a time czar can be killed without regenerating. And the rest of them were obliterated. They... Somebody. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say anything. Oh, oh sorry. I misheard. Mm -hmm. The rest of them were obliterated. They were taken um, to a place um, where <laughs> uh, they cease to exist. They are erased from the universe and they are erased from time. They were made to have never existed in the first place. And usually that includes the memories of all the people who ever knew them. The universe, when we, when time stars cut these holes into existence, the universe tends to patch them back up because we're very careful about only cutting very neat holes. It's a fate that is, um, uh, a fate that is, uh, obliteration is a fate, um, uh, usually reserved only for traitors, criminals, and renegades. People like me, actually. But, um, they. They took them, and. I shouldn't have been able to remember them. But. And, and here for the first time, he smirks a little bit. They did a sloppy job of it. So I had 
snatches. And they had to... They had to do some very intense uh, spell work and some very intense brainwashing to suppress those memories. And the smirk falls. As it is, there are probably at least a dozen people who I will never remember. Simply because they never existed. Not... Not really. The only people who survived were myself, who was, well, I was meant to survive. It was part of their plan. And my granddaughter, who I don't think was part of the plan, but, um, but we, her and I, we managed to, to save her. And the times are that I used to call my brother. His name is Ivan Baverdeel. You used to call him your brother. Mm-hmm. After the event, I disowned him because I suspected that he was involved. So, you think he betrayed you? I think at the very least that he turned a blind eye to the situation. At most, he was a collaborator. But he doesn't matter anymore. Is he still alive? Do you know? I don't know for sure, but I I can't imagine that he's that he's died. He's he's only a little bit older than I am. Mm. He wouldn't have I mean, unless somebody's assassinated him, that would be the only thing. But you don't know for sure. No. He's probably still out there. Skirrel's just thoughts, I see. Hmm? I sorry, it's just with what happened to me, loose ends mm. are not always the best. I know, but it's not like he can do anything to me. Gribbles, look! Don't, don't. Scribbles, yeah, Scribbles, <laughs> like, straight, the, the professor, straight in the eyes and cocks his eyebrow. <laughs> what? He can't. He's. I, he's just he a can... politician. I'm. I'm... I'm the professor. <laughs> and yet you said there is a weapon or something that can kill a time czar outright. What? Yes, but that, he doesn't... Uh, that's... Politicians are worse than gods. <laughs> also, every time you say that he can't, I promise you there's a cutscene that we can't see of him, per <laughs> like... <laughs> We're He's... going to take a two iron quilt with a big, like, suitcase full of death rays. Yeah. Not, not just anyone can get their hands on a staser. He can't, he can't, he doesn't have access to, well, uh, that's not the... Yeah. Look me in the eyes and tell me that you have this ship because you were supposed to have this ship. What? No, I stole it. And you think that it's impossible for him to... Obtain. No, I retract my statement. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. When um, your disowned brother comes to Einquell, we will be ready. Oh, he's not going to do that. Now you say this, but back on topic. What happened to your granddaughter? Oh, well, she's fine. She's. I. She's in the future, actually. On a different planet. 
Oh. Did you just drop her off? No. No. She... No. She found... She found a place where she belonged, and she found a soulmate, and... And a cause to fight for, and people who she could belong with, and... It was just time for us to part ways. You should bring her to visit. Yeah, mm. or yeah, or if you haven't already, maybe visit her. I don't. Hmm. I don't know about that. Why not? I I can't. I wouldn't want to disrupt her life like that. You disrupt our lives every day, and you de delight in it. That's different. Why? She's... She's safer there without me, because I'm not drawing attention to her. She... Wow. She's safer if I stay away. TUC kind of considers, and they look at Skrulls, and they go, Do you know the range on extremely loyal airplanes? Unfortunately, they don't go off-planet. When they don't go through several thousand years, I shouldn't think. At least How do you know? As, as far as They're I know. They're going forward in time, and so are we. But not by At a rate of one second per second. <sighs> That's not the point. The, the point is that is that my my rogues gallery keep keep well away from her and not know where she is. She's already dealing with 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 one of the with one of the most horrendous forces in in all of time. She shouldn't have to deal with the rest of them, too. Should I even ask what that is? Hmm. Uh, if you ever meet something uh, robot-like in appearance, calling itself um, a Tarvik, just Run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. Me, me, the, the <laughs> player, Winona, knows what you're talking about, and I'm just smiling. <laughs> <sighs> the scribble size. Well, as long as you didn't strand her there. Yes. Come on, guys. One moment. Alright. Nope. Second break. <laughs> mm. I love it. How, how we all doing? Good. <laughs> After that statement, however, you may want to roll a uh, insight. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll definitely <laughs> roll insight for sure. Uh, but... Yeah, we will wait for arrows. I know this is a very... Ah, uh, 14. Four, 14 is pretty good. Got a 17. 14 is, 17 is even better. This is a very long story, and I apologize for that. No, I'm loving this story. Okay. Yeah. Were you not there for, like, the, the hour we spent on TOC? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Uh, this, this is... Like, it's Hi, I'm back. That Yay. was Hi. Yay. really weird. Um, weird dude. Um, that I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's ignore that. It's okay. All right. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. We'll, we can talk about that after the FPS. Okay. All right. Um, mm -hmm. oh, uh, Scribbles, I think, said as long as you didn't abandon her there. And, no, um, no, that was, yes. that was TSO. Oh, it was that TOC. Was TOC. TOC said that. And, uh, and I said, hey, you want to roll Insight? Oh, wonderful. So if you want to roll, you're welcome to. All right, sure. TFC has rolled a 17. Wait, I said oh, that. 
I have ah. a 17 as well. All right, two 17s and a 14. Uh, with the 14, um, Scribbles, um, you know the professor well enough that his silence uh, speaks volumes. And uh, TUC and um, Nebula, um, uh, he... He he sort of like um uh he leans away and does not make eye contact and uh uh his um uh his hands which were just kind of folded together um uh tighten. And he, he maybe he did actually do that. Oh. Pick, yes, pick, 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 pick. Like, silent himself. And he's just like, okay, do I really want to open this can of worms? Or do should I have him finish the rest of his story and we can deal with that whole shit later? I'm gonna roll for it. <laughs> in the meantime, TOC is like, you are so smart. I know you're really smart. How are you this dumb? <laughs> yeah, Scribbles is just gonna let that be. Right for right now, it's just like, mm -hmm. so, what else happened? Well, um, hmm. Uh, aside from, um, everybody being dead or gone, um... I found out the reason why. Um, I found out who did it and why they did it. And it is, uh, it is so stupid. They thought there was this cult. Uh, all three of the, um, um, the, the, the triad that um, created the Time Czars, Tassilon, Epsilon, and the Extra, all yeah. three of them have a cult following, uh, expected of the creators of an entire race. That's um, an entire race of egotists. Um, okay. And, um, the Extra had, um, a cult following, uh, possibly, uh, especially odd and secretive because mm, it is unclear who the Extra really was. They're a very mysterious figure in Time's Our History, and they're, they seem to keep to the shadows, and sort of uh, work in the background whatever they did um, not much is really known about them um, uh, and these cultists thought uh, that I um, possibly because of my ideals, my uh, sort of, um, uh, bucking the system, um, in ways that most time stars really just didn't. Um, I mean, I, I was an outlier of sorts, and I think they took that as a sign that I was... Uh, I was inexplicably a reincarnation of their esteemed extra. And they thought that they would they thought that they should like to get their idol back as it were. And they thought that the way to do that was to strip me of the trappings of my quote-unquote new life. 
and revert me back to a former state, which obviously I did not have since I am not the reincarnation of the extra because time stars don't reincarnate. <sighs> There's prayer hands from Scribbles. <laughs> I want to say uh, when when he was first talking about the uh, massacre, uh, Nebula he he's been quiet, but like his his eyes were completely black. There were no eyelids there at all. Uh, they kind of faded back in as talking about the who other things. The the massacre of uh, of the professor's family. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and, like, a as conversation went on, they kind of slowly faded back in. But now they're back to black again. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Nice. He he's quiet, but he's definitely reacting. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Um. So, sorry. So we're all on the same page. They killed, or worse, your entire family. Correct. And... They thought Ostensibly that... tried to blame you. Blame me? No. No, they didn't try to blame me for that. They wanted to... They wanted to make it as if they never existed. They just did a very bad job. Mm-hmm. They, they allowed. It, hmm? Sorry, I just want to make it clear that you have no culpability for this whatsoever, right? Like you understand this, right? <laughs> uh, Professor. He 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 is thinking. And uh, with those insights, you can tell that he is kind of just trying to confirm with himself that he really does know this. Um, and he he uh, tilts his head down uh, to look at you, TOC, um, in his lap. Um, and he says, um, I do not regret the decisions in my life that led them to believe that I was the extra. Good. I assume that was a, a semicolon, not a period. Because that's a very strange way of <laughs> wording it. Everything after that... There's nothing I could have done. You are no more to blame for your family's death than me for my sisters. I am aware of this. They sort of, they sort of scoot sideways in your lap until they're underneath your folded hands. Mm -hmm. And they're sort of resting on their back. And they won't say anything else, but they will just make sure you have that contact. Yeah. And you can feel their, their conviction. Yeah. He does, he does seem to believe this. There, there is like there is like a very very small note of uncertainty like like as if he feels as though he should like feel culpable for this but also like he is getting affirmation now that he isn't and he doesn't think he is so yeah and scribbles he scoots closer to the professor and and just like that's where affirmation to giving him a small smile. <sighs> they can be sure until he is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, yeah. No, that's okay. I, um... Oh, uh, yeah, I think where I was was, um... Well, they... They allowed me to escape off-planet. Uh, I... Their plan was to... They thought that, um, something that destructive would, uh do the job, uh, as it were, and, uh, the next time they were just going to wait until I regenerated and I would be my quote unquote self. Um, evidently, uh, that did not happen. I continued to be me and not the extra. Oh, this isn't the face of, uh, a minor deity. Hmm. <laughs> and they sort of like look up at you and your very dorky face. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one sec. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this has just been nebula processing. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and being very mad for the professor's sake. Because, yeah, uh huh. That's fine. Like everyone's being. Yeah, I think everyone's being mad for the professor's sake. Yeah. He, he He's just kind of like, so so we're going to fight for him, right? Like, if, if he needs it, we're going to fight for him, right? Yeah, we're going to bear up in arms and and make sure everyone dies. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll, we will march into oblivion and grab his folks if given the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Did somebody disappear? Uh, I think it might have been Fletch. Yeah. Been going yeah. In and out. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, Fletch. Yeah. Oop. Um, uh, yeah, earbuds. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you, yeah, you said TOC looks at his, his dorky face, and, um, to, uh, to complete the look, he sticks his tongue out at you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they stick their horrible chicken tongue <laughs> back up at him. It's not pleasant. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, um, they, uh, did, a a very poor job at, um, getting rid of everybody, and they did a very poor job, um, well, actually, they did a, hmm, they did a very good job uh, messing with my head um, to make sure that I wouldn't ever remember. I mean, it took this long to figure it out um, and plenty of outside help. But um, yes, now I now I know now I know what happened. And, and they did a very poor job everything else existing, generally. Yep. Mm. I agree there. Yep. They're, indeed. They're probably still there and they're probably very disappointed having heard that I mm, didn't turn out the way they wanted me to. Yeah. So oh. you said that this hmm. god is a mystery. What does the history books say about him? Any theories that they had? Well, that's just it. He, They are just... They're just another Phalagrayan, uh, who became a Time Czar along with Tassilon after, uh, Epsilon disappeared. Uh, well, we thought he died, um, but he hadn't. He died later. Um, uh, they, they became the leader, well, no, Tassilon did. Tassilon became the leader of the new, newly minted Time Czars, uh, and the extra just sort of faded into the background and eventually uh after they uh lived out all of their um newly acquired regenerations um they presumably died i mean <laughs> times ours are mortal eventually mm. just after a very long time so, I mean, they, they should have been, along with Tassilon, I, I might add, they, they should have died aeons ago. Millions, billions of years. I have, I have two questions. Mm. 
first, I I suspect I know. What? No what? But just to con- I just to confirm, it you can't go back in time and talk to the extra. Uh no. Hmm. No, there is a a lock uh, around that period of time. Oh, that's no, that's that's more than impossible. Sounds uncomfortably like a plot hook, but please go on. Oh, my second question was: the cold is still out there. Oh, probably. I don't see why they wouldn't be. And they might very well. Oh, I don't know. Check in. Uh, probably not. Their plan failed. I mean, I'm. It. It's. I've, like I said, I, I've died three times since then. I've. I'm not the extra. No, I agree. Mm-hmm. But let's say that you you construct a beautiful cake. It is an important cake that you need for something very important. Mm. And then the, the, the cake winds up in a big gooey mess on the ground. Mm-hmm. Now that we have established that you are a big gooey mess... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that you are, in essence, the rune cake on the ground. Uh-huh. The very sad. You don't think that they will, I don't know, try to make another cake? If you follow my metaphor? Oh, well, I mean, with time travel, they they already did once, um, and I, I have... They... That's... You can't... They shouldn't have been able to do that in the first place. You're not allowed to time travel on Falagre. It's illegal, and there are special agents who dedicate their entire existences to making sure people don't do it. But they did it anyway, so they probably have friends high up. But... Yeah, friends in high places. But, but, that's... They're not... They don't have to check on me. They know about me, and they know what I'm doing. Did I mention the Time Czars are nearly omniscient? You didn't, but please continue. Yeah, no, they excel in divination magic. They watch all of time as it unfolds and before it unfolds. Collectively, not individually. I can't just do that by myself. But Mm -hmm. on Falagre, they can do a great many things. But you said they did this before. Who was the person that they did it to? What? Uh, you said they tried. They tried again. No, no. Uh, with me, they tried. Mm, that's why I had two sets of that memory of the massacre. They, oh, I see. They tried it once, and they were not able to erase it from my mind because all they did was go around and kill everybody. <laughs> that's. That's nothing. That doesn't. I... That that I that doesn't I... erase them from time or from memory. I see. I see. Sorry, I misunderstood. No, that's all right. The second time they obliterated people, uh, some of them, then it was easier for them to manipulate my memory. Hmm. So, well, in a way, that's to to my way of thinking. Well, the fact that they're omniscient is a good thing. Is a good thing? Yes, because they know that if and when they show up to, I don't know, stuff you in a big burlap bag or whatever it is that they like to do, (laughs) they know that they'll fail. Because we're here. (laughs) He does have a point there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, one sec. Mm-hmm. Right, here we are. My cat is here. <laughs> Kitty. Aww. Kitty. Criminal. So, um, so you said they I... thought you would come back when you died. Yeah. Right? Yes, quite. Well, maybe... 
regeneration death wasn't the death they were looking for. Uh, no, they they said it was. Uh, never mind. I I overheard snatches of conversation when they were brainwashing me. Ah. Very careless of them. Yeah, mm. this seems well. Are they suspicious in itself? I mean, if I was brainwashing someone, I would just go into a different room. Um, yeah. It was a rather hands-on process. <laughs> Literally. Mm. <laughs> they look at their wings. Well, never mind then. <laughs> but <sighs> it's just they mm. They don't not know what I've been up to. They, they know. They see and watch my adventures. They are aware of what I can do and what I have done. Um, and they, I mean, they're the ones that sent me after Epsilon the first time, um, because he was trying, and uh, was going to succeed. Uh, by of um, succeed in um, uh, sapping fellow gray of all its power so that he could escape his demiplane uh, thereby killing everyone on the mm -hmm. planet uh, I stopped him from doing that and um, they're aware yeah. huh and that's how the trapping start was done right to say sergeant you're trying to keep everything in line oh um he was already trapped there. All I had to do was keep him trapped there. Yes. Okay. I'm just making sure. Continue on. Yes. Um, and since I did that for them and saved the entire planet, um, I, that's actually what earned me um, the release from my exile. Uh, a different exile, actually, as it happened from the original one. How many times have you been exiled? Twice. Okay. Uh, once for having radical ideas, and uh, a second time, well, and probably stealing a time machine didn't help, uh, and a second time for... Um, well, only for saving the universe and reality as we know it. Well, actually, no, I didn't save reality that time. That was a different time. I saved... I saved the planet Darth. That was it. Sorry, it, it gets confusing. I get mixed up. I mean, yeah. It sounds like it with time travel and everything. Mm. It's just... There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot. Including... A beholder... Oh. I remember correctly. Yeah, actually, as it happened, um, that was the cause of my uh, third death. You, ah. know, you know that great big hole I used to have in the back of this coat? Yeah, I think I remember we 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 touched on this subject once. Yeah. We never went into detail. Yes. So maybe you should enlighten us on how you you ran into a beholder single handedly. Oh, um, yeah, it was going to do... It was... Uh, actually, that was kind of my fault. Um, I had stolen something I wasn't supposed to. Um, a beholder wanted it um, so that it could use it to um, control all of reality. Uh, I had to... Um, face the beholder, but um, its lair was uh, radioactive. I uh, it also um, struck me uh, a pretty nasty blow. Um, that's that's what that's uh, that's what the hole in the coat was from. Um, and I, uh, later died of my inju injuries and of radiation poisoning, uh, over the course of 
uh, possibly, uh, that's, it's, hmm. That's where the um, more or less uh, to my age comes in, because I, I am not sure how long it took me to die. Ah. Oh, that's a mood. It, it was, it might have been a hundred years, it might have been, it might have been a day. I see. Hmm. <sighs> um, but yeah, I died in this coat. Yeah. I mean, as much, as much as powerful as that coat is, a beholder is a thing to be reckoned with. Oh, don't I know it. Well, stop that. What? Stop what? Dying. Oh, I'll... Mostly because I know that now I'm winning. <laughs> winning? I've died four times, you've died three. Well, if it's any cons... Right. If it's any consolation, I don't intend to die anytime soon. I rather like this new form... I want to keep it as long as I can. I mean, this is also not a competition. I don't want any of us to die. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Agreed. <sighs> <laughs> Good. Good. Well, Professor, you, you, this whole, um, Confirmation, I suppose, of, of what was real memories was fake. Mm. Um, this happened recently, yes? Um, a few months ago now, yes. How are you dealing with it? <sighs> um, hmm. I think, uh, Wait. worse before I said anything about it. I think this has actually helped. And he sort of tilts his head in a bewildered way, like, I did not expect that. <laughs> I hope we've learned something today. <laughs> yeah, scribbles, chuckles, and nods. Yes, I hope so, too. Hmm. Can I ask a follow-up? Mm. Have you considered therapy? Mm. You said that you had consulted therapists before about... About the memory loss. Mm. But have you, like, just general, I have PTSD, just, mm. you know, week to week. That's, uh, difficult, um considering my vocation. Um, I feel like it would be really easy to make appointments. Mm, I, that's... It's less about um, logistics and more about um, uh being an intergalactic criminal who uh, does not want to draw attention to myself and uh, brings danger to everyone around me. I can almost guarantee you that Anquilian therapists have to deal with worse. See? Also, you hang out with us. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, I see, you're... If you ever do just want to get away, you can come to any of us. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Marigold and Sully would love to have you over for dinner. <laughs> Same. I don't think you've met Juniper. You must. <laughs> That's... Thank you. It's very sweet of you. Scribbles just reaches over and puts a hand on his shoulder, just just in solidarity. Mm. Nebula nods.
Um, as it is, I have to ask you to keep mm, most of the details I've shared about Time Sars on the down low. Um, it's dangerous for people to know. Understood. Very much understood. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. I'm generally, I mean, I've been pretty cavalier about it so far, being an alien at least, but um, the finer details uh, tend to paint a target on my back. Um, yeah. I, I can only imagine. Mm. <laughs> there is, there are many reasons why uh, the others don't leave the planet. It is safe there, for the most part. It is safe from outside threats there. I was going to say, like, there was a, well. I feel like this this conversation has established that it's not always. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, we are a danger to each other, to be to be sure, to be sure. Um. <laughs> but uh, it does prevent any outsiders from entering. Mm-hmm. There's an old proverb about locked doors and houses on fire that I feel like it would be poor taste to quote right now. Yes, mm. it would. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that say anything else? Mm. Well, good job keeping us posted. And I, I don't know how. Well, I suppose I can write. You said sunshine. Um, I suppose I can write him a letter. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But I would appreciate being kept abreast. Um, mm -hmm. And as always, did you hear anything more about my girl? Yes. I, I think I, I picked up a book, um, actually, at university um, when we visited. Um, oh? Yeah. Do you have it? Um... Does he still have it? Uh... <laughs> I mean, they are in his house. Yeah. Yeah. However, it is a very big house. So if you don't want to dredge up uh, our DMs, um, you can just say, oh, it's in the uh, the fourth library. Oh, yeah, no, no. It has nothing to do with uh, DMs. It's just, it's a library book. So I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I mentioned this to you before, author. Um, I do remember that. Um does he ha let me just let me just roll to see if he returned it or not. Roll for responsible library going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh let's see. Uh if it's a one he returned it. He has it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Guess what? Guess what? Um he reaches into his pocket and pulls out the book. Oh boy. Uh, and um, TOC is on his lap, so he opens the book, uh, just kind of holds it um, on his knees. And mm. yeah, it's. I mean, you described it to me, so uh, you are aware of what this book is like. Yeah, let me find exactly what I said because. It was, yeah. it was about, um, it was about using necromancy for, uh, agriculture, and I, if I remember right, it was kind of dry, but saved by the sort of dark humor spattered throughout. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Scribble sees this book, and, he's, and he just says, he just is like, God, Unbacant would have a fit if he knew you still had that book. Uh, oh, and I will say, if, if anyone here has uh, studied magical agriculture at all, um, it's sort of a canonical te text. Mm. Um, mm. Professor has. 
studied that. Mm. I mean, Scribbles have probably maybe looked over it once. Yeah, it's actually, um, anyone who feels like they could know more, uh, about the, the, the incident surrounding this book, um, could roll a history, All but right. also they don't have to. Alright, I'll roll history. Yeah, I, I don't think Professor has Not any- know the context, I don't know the context surrounding this book, so I have no idea. That's a 17. A 17. Um, it- Arrows, it would be like, um, spe maybe specifically if he had cause to look into arcane agriculture, um, like this would have been, you know, probably the first, one of the first ten books that he would have, um, been recommended. Mm-hmm. Alright. I don't think so. he has, so I think, well, no, I don't think he would. Okay, that's up to you. I, I can um, roll geez. just because the professor would have looked into the book just on principle of who it was written by. What do you like? Uh, uh, I'll, I will leave this solely up to you guys. I got a... Let's see, what's your history modifier? Um, hmm. That's a 13. That's not great. A 13. Um, it's... Professor, it... Like... You kind of looked into a little bit, you know, it didn't have like an about the author, mm. so you looked up and about the author. Um, mm -hmm. it was kind of like you were really busy that day, yeah. Um, but you know, it, it matches up, it was definitely written by P Pete Moss. Um, and another, it was an et al. Um, mm. and you you had a little bit of trouble discerning um, the uh, the partner that this this study um, that this treatise was was originally done on, hmm. um, or done with I should say. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Winona with a, a seventeen scribbles. There was something about like there was going to be a follow up, but there was something like. It was kind of hushed up, but it was, you know, in such a way that, like, everyone was talking about it. But that was before your time. Um, and it was something about, like, there were, there's going to be clinical trials on, you know, humanoids, real kind and tune kind. And, like, right before that started, um, you know, there was a fault in some of the, in the, the preliminary uh, stuff that could have, you know at least hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But, um, you know, they found it, so that didn't happen. And for what what you know about this book, this book is still considered sound. Mm -hmm. Scribbles, like, looks the book is just like, quite the controversy on that one in particular, if I remember correctly. It was past my time, but there was supposed to be a sequel to it. However... Uh, say and then say he explains about the supposed cl clinical trials and stuff and how there was a falling out. Mm. He relays that to the rest of it to the group. Interesting. TFC is maybe ha at most half listening. Mm. Um, they are sort of paging through this and they seem to be having a little bit of trouble reading, which um. Nebula at least will know that that happens when they get emotional. Their uh, that their their disability gets you know substantially worse. Mm -hmm. But um, they seem to be just holding the weight of it and relishing having this connection after mm -hmm. a very long time. Mm -hmm. Are you okay, TOC? Yes. No, this is... Thank you. And they look up at the professor. Thank you, thank you. I... Hmm. If this is her, it's been a very long time. It's been a lifetime. Hmm. And they reluctantly pass the book back up to you. I, 
I don't think I have the ability to read that right now. Um, That's okay. Yeah, technically way overdue. Well, I have a time machine. Time <laughs> Doesn't have to be overdue. I mean, you're not wrong. It's just, I, you know, I worked at the library. It's just, it's a thing. And now that I'm a follower of Unbrakant, I feel like, ugh, books. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, there would, hmm. My library selection would be a lot smaller uh, if I didn't have uh, any overdue library books in it. Oh my gosh, you stole <laughs> your books? I was gonna say, oh, you, yeah, Scribble's just like, like, head in the hands. He's like, you stole your books, didn't you? Only some of them. <sighs> Only some of them, and usually from what? people who didn't deserve to keep them. <sighs> TUC is just sort of muttering like it's been a very long day. They got kicked earlier. They they're not still not happy about it. They don't have time for this. Yeah. Huh. Sort of the same with scribbles that line of thinking. <laughs> well Do you think that's where we call it? Them just sort of like them negging the professor in his own garden over his uh, <laughs> horrible library habits. Yes. I feel like yes. it'd be a good place, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be a good place too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Mm hmm. Oh, that was good. Yay. This was delightful. Yeah. This was yeah. very delightful. <laughs> All right. Um, Thank you all so much for listening. Yeah. Uh, yes. Delightful, beloved audience who at mm -hmm. times gave us input into uh, what our kids are doing. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Have a good yeah. time zone, everybody. Have a yeah. good time zone. Bye. Thank you Bye. for listening and thank you for playing. Bye. Yes. Bye. Mm. Yes. Bye.